But not by always getting free stuff, Lizzie. It's unbearable to us regular people to see you get so much free stuff. <laughs> what about us poor regular people? So that means that Lizzie is going to stop watching altogether. Because she said you, you only sub so that you don't have to watch the ads and otherwise you don't watch things. SQ! Yeah. I know. As do I. Did I fight you yet? Where do we actually need to go? I don't remember. I'm pressing the wrong button still. We need to go here. In the meantime, we need to explore everything. Yikes. What yellow Pokemon? This one? That is walking along with me. It's a Pikachu clone. You know how every generation has a Pikachu clone? Pikachu, who's that? Yeah. That one you have to know. <laughs> No, I was gonna evolve Praza. What the fuck? Pikachu is the original. Well, apparently we're not evolving Praza. Okay, so who is the original then? Raichu. <sighs> wow, Lizzie, cringe. Lol. 
Lizzie, stop standing in the piss. Ooh, we got a Thunderstone. No idea what we need to use that for. climb from here. I guess I need to climb through here. Or can we even climb? Yeah, at least you got a jelly donut, Lizzie. I don't see the problem here. Ask you, Final Fantasy X is a good game. <clears throat> yeah, what Lizzie says. Get back to Bayonetta 3. Oh. Is Bayonetta 3 any good, um, Lizzie? I know, I just thought it was funny. Okay. I mean, if you want to play new games, you can always buy new consoles and a new uh, game for them, you know? Compliments her shoes, the back of her shoe had gold on its like design. On the when designing gold plates, it reminded me of Bayonetta. Like it, but I like the whole series. Okay, okay. I 
I'm just pissed I paid full price for it, now it's like 40 bucks. Poor Lizzie is pissed that she bought a game for full price. Lizzie, I bought four Pokemon games full price, but on the full price. And one of the four Pokemon games I didn't get. Technically, I paid 15, but still. Bitch, what are you complaining about? I've got no fucks to give, my fucks have all run out. La da da na 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 na. I can go down the water here. Or up the water, I guess. But we're not going up the water. I guess I'm going back up. tiny things. I had gift cards for the game. I mean, all the more reason not to see a problem at all in that. complain about a game price that you didn't have to pay full price for anyways if you had to get cards. thing online and they give me gift cards it's like 20 minutes of my time lol new games i haven't played stray yet fun fantasy 12 zodiac fun fantasy 12 zodiac is old though Neo 2 got downloaded, no idea where it came from.
Kill them, my tiny Pokemon destroyer of doom. Yeah, Bobbo plays that. Vince plays that as well. Dumpstars played it. Hyper Sushi played it. Hyper Sushi, aka Sushi. Wonder where this leads. If I can climb up somewhere here. Stone. Oh, I can get up here. Interesting. Yeah, we can swim now. Officially, we can swim. We can do a lot of things now. Have I been here yet? That's another Pokemon. Let's jump path down. I need to take two paths down anyways. Or only one. Uh, only one. So we can check what kind of Pokemon it is. We can swim, but we still can't climb. Climb. Klimmen is Dutch for climbing in English. Okay. Ooh, what the fuck is that? Finished. Ooh, I might need to watch out for this guy here. Uh, maybe not, actually. Q is out of cookies. Mm. Wow, it actually broke out of the Pokeball instantly. Punch. Rude.
Nice. Didn't went up this pool yet. Look at my little flittle punching everyone in the face. pay enough attention and still run into a um, Pokemon. Sunny day! Tailwind, and then we jump off the cliff again. This kid should technically have broken all his arms, but sure. Oh, it leads back up here. Ass Pokemon that I can't spot. <laughs> oh, we can go from the other side, so that's good to know. Oh, 
Ooh, cave. Ooh, item. Cave. Item cave. Pretty sure there was another trainer up here somewhere. Yep. Battle. Uh, Rain is thinking something, but I don't remember what it was. Oh well. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to uh, check. Tadbulb, and I she needs a new name for Tadbulb. Oh, it evolves with a Thunderstone. We actually have a Thunderstone. What about its moveset? No, not about kittens. No, okay, that doesn't change much. Tapulp is evolving. No, not about cookies either. Look at this Giga chat. to open my big mouth. Got punished for it. <laughs> Faint. Roots. That was a tough fight. Um, let's see, this leads down to this way. 
We've been here. There's a new raid there, but we're not gonna go do that raid. We are gonna go check that area. Sure, let's go look. Another trainer! A dragon tamer, okay. I'm back, welcome back. These donuts are fresh! Hey, Lizzie. Can you stop making us jealous already? Isn't this where the Jolteon was? Yeah. Okay, we've been here. Sorry, she says. Ah, fuck. I gotta go back. Didn't grab the item. What a butthole. I'm not gonna lie, now I want donuts. 
and it's all Lizzie's fault. <laughs> So far, we've caught one shiny Pokemon. Creepy guys. Good. Finally, coffee. Lizzie can finally have coffee again. Yatta diaranzu. Last time, that's what we checked. Oh. Pretty fetter. It would get so close. Be like, hey bitch, get off me! Don't you know about personal space? Why do I not have play rough yet? Oh wait, am I st Oh, here it is. We want this over COVID. Uh, let's see. Let's first grab the quick gravel point. Clear Amulet, an item to be held by a Pokémon. This clear, sparkling amulet protects the holder from having his stats lowered by moves used against it or by other... Oh, that's nice. Uh, no, some Pokémon's definitely not. But there are Pokemons where it feels like they are at least trying.
By the way, they gave Dunsparce an evolution, and it sucks. <laughs> to beat up a lot of bombs or for uh, to be able to evolve Zillar into his final form. the Pokemon I will uh, leveling up. Thought I heard something interesting. Let's see, how many do I have right now? No, no, this one.
18. Two more. Shit. I'm back. That's two swords, mail. Welcome back. How was the meal sortation? Should give me enough um, Bronzor fragments. Ooh, two this time. Oh, nice. Get out of the way, Flinx. Welcome back again! Lizzie, can't make up your mind if you want to go or stay? What do you mean, rude? Why are you smacking people? Because they drop uh, items that I need. And experience points. What else am I supposed to do? Sit around and wait? Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. It's because it's true, you bitch! Let's see what kind of Pokemon. Ooh, is this a new Pokemon? I don't know this Pokemon. Well, I can control the people from the outside, but not staff. fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Old Baru, apparently. Yeah, I changed my uniform because I couldn't stand the shorts. In case you were wondering. Even I knew that. Lizzie, shush. <laughs> Mimi, never. Lizzie, where were you yesterday? By the way, I streamed to like two a.m. at midnight. Didn't even come back in. I was so sad. was here at work. Got busy. Wait, but 2am? Usually you're free at 2am. Did you work overtime? Steel poison. Hmm. Nice. Uh, 2 in the morning. 
Usually around 11 you go, like, home. By the way, I need a name, guys, for, um... Uh, this, uh, belly bolt here. Welcome to the hospital. Here you be safe and sound till death. Fuck. The Bray pissed the fuck off. It's a shiny rock roof. It's a shiny rock roof. I thought that was a fucking blue Pelipper, but no. It's good that I went back to look, yo. That's my si second shiny. That's 15 hours in. Two shinies.
I'm not catching another one of these. Especially since I can't check anything yet, like stats and whatever. Pay enough attention to how to see when this one is shiny. Weird hospital call. So the chaplain said the girlfriend baptized him. And I'm like, and he was like, yeah, and I like, I gotta ask, I've never heard of that. Lol, that sounds weird. Wait, the GF baptized him? Where's the GF? When I read GF, I read girlfriend, so... Also, Lizzie, I just caught another shiny. I'm running in the wrong direction. Sorry. Fairly close. Roto to 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 Cassiopeia. See you're getting close to one Team Star's basis. I take it that means you decide to join my operations, that's right. Thank you. With this, you've officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. As this Operation Starfall of yours have Room for one more member? What? Who are you? The name's Clive. Oh, and how long have you been spying on us? I need to get your heckles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here. Isn't that right, Jordy? Yes, maybe? <laughs> as shy as ever, I see. Talking about going up against Team Star here, it's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sh sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. Wait, is that uh, the Hatmaster dressed up? I suppose I'm, hard I'm hardly in position to refuse help. Welcome to the Operation Clive. Great, that settles it then. I think I heard your name earlier, Cassiopeia. What is it? Who exactly are you? Star Team and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. 
I see. In that case, I won't press you further. Good. Now, back to business. Let's talk about Operation Starfall. Yes, what would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. And will defeat the boss of the team and put an end to their rule. And to their rule? You mean we need to oust their bosses from their role somehow? That's right. Team Star is made up of five squads, and each of those squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. Ah, yes, I can see them over there. The other side of those is the base proper. And the base lies one of your targets, the squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses who a battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as a boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Jordy. They're basically uh, declarations of war. Now all of Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from their roles. What happens next? Roles of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are considerable size. Your Garden VRT trainer would be overrun long before they get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential for this operation, Yordi. Defeat the Pokémon inside the base and drag the boss out from where they're hiding. I want hair like that. Doesn't everyone? <laughs> and what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have history with Team Star. That means I can't operate in, out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Alright. What will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as you already support. Your cash one. Alright, I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting. Well, go get him, Yordi. Director, careful. I have no idea what you mean. But if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student, just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. I knew it. I knew it was the headmaster. Fucking hell. Yeah, why the fuck do you think I didn't want to wear the shorts anymore? And I looked like a dweeb with tiny ass legs like that. Yep. Yep. Really couldn't stand it. Whoa, whoa, hold it, you! I'll pass the base of the operation for Team Star's Dark Crew. You may know us as the Sassin Squad. Sagan Squad, sorry. Yep, and we don't take too kindly to random kids sniffing around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, amigo, we'll have to send you packing. Wait, hold up. Just going on a hunch here, but are you that Jordy kid? You know, that piece of work we're out to get for declaring war on Team Star? Maybe I am. Maybe I am, he says. Cool as cucumber. Honestly, he's not always the best policy, you know. Ah, you know what? Doesn't matter who you are, you're not getting through. Buzz off or get trashed by me in battle, kid. What will it be? Ah, sassy kids like you are the worst! That's it, prepare to get stomped into the dirt. Murkrow. The Almighty can solo your asses. Didn't even check what level the Pokemons were. Easy. Did such a sassy kid have to be so strong? We might die. I never die. Whatever is your problem, now finish up 
here for me, would you, bud? Thanks. Hasta la vista, star. Hasta la vista, star. She's new to the team, you know. Might have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. <sighs> Well, I'm gonna go into the base now and give the rest of the squad the heads up. We'll come at you full force if you set foot inside, so you might want to consider turning tail. Either way, best of luck to you, amigo. Hasta la vista! Rotototo. I see you took care of the guards. Nice work. Now hold up in the base is Team Star's Dark Crew, the Sagan Squad. Their boss, Giko Giacomo, pretty much runs the whole of Team Star and he's also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. He's a sharp guy, even our declaration of war won't have ruffled him in the slightest. His plan is probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts and finish you off himself. No use trying to outthink strategy types like him, bring him down with a head-on attack. Just keep on defeating as many Pokémons as you can until the big man himself shows up. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Sagan squad off the map. He hasn't called me back. Rude. Careful, Nayori. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it Star Barrage. To get through it, you need to use R button to send out multiple Pokémon and have them battle at the same time. If your Pokémon get low health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The Grunts you'll be facing will heal up their Pokémon too, so stay sharp out there. Heads up, gang. Some jumped up kid has wandered in thinking he can raid our base. Clearly he doesn't know who he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson he won't forget. To our unwanted guest, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokémon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with the appearance. No. He's the same professor, he's the director. Just dressed up. <laughs> I'm too strong for these little shit stains. sure not to use my uh, grass type in the next one. He's way above our level. We gotta get the boss. Damn, boy. Boss of Team Star Dark's crew. 
You've done a real number on us, Party Chaser. Or Party Crasher. You already was it. I'm Giacomo at the deck. I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever. It's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play you a sick requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started! You were challenged by Giacomo of Team Star. Listen, you little shit stains are gonna get blasted. You don't really think things through, do ya? Only level 21. How about I destroy that vehicle of yours as well, bro? Rave room. That's the evolution of the thing we just caught. Time to up the tempo. This ain't over yet. Wait, the car is the Pokemon. Are you fucking kidding me? Sagan Starmobile. Cringe. Let's one shot in. Wicked Torque. Ha! How's that for an opening track? I'll spin you up, good party crasher. Uh, didn't even one shot, feels bad. He actually dodged it. Cringe. Welcome back, Lizzie. How does it feel to get slapped, bitch? Guess that's that. About a year and a half ago. Guess that's that. What's up, Giocomo? Did something happen? Big Boss just wanted to take on some stuff, so we had to chat and settle on a few plans. A few plans, like for what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figured we gotta make some team rules like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. Nice, you'll come up with a great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? Ha, huh, no thanks, way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be the president of the student council, but you know everyone that ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know. You forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone and they wouldn't take it. And we got some other nerd to replace you after like five minutes. Cannot help but concur. But concur. Male student hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape and so forth. Your rules were ve vexation made manifest. My point exactly. So you all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's the best for the team, Giacomo. You'll look out for us. You've earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck-up student council press isn't who you are anymore, man. The code writing by Giacomo I'm looking at now, I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay, thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. So, does our mom like the new professor in this game? No. No. Brother? Sister? I want to join this team. It's a good thing that I just wrecked it then, Lizzie. I wrote that code myself and there is no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would you? I'll give you this choice, TM2. You earned it, fair and square. 
Huh, so this is how the party ends. But let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learn those trainer chops at the at the academy? Like, what moves you should use and stuff? Sure did. Hmm. Okay. You like it at the academy, huh? Having fun? I'm enjoying it. No kidding. Sorry to interrupt, but are you Giacomo? Whoa, wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You got a Quaxwall to style for you? I'm just after a quick word, would you mind? Sure. I can tell it's going to be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. It seems all of you and Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep your current activities. So why won't you break up the team and start attending class at this academy again? That's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal. Though we don't know if they'll be coming back. Pal, close friend of yours, are they? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us, the other boss, to form a team. We all call him the big boss. And where's this big boss of yours now? Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him, I don't know, must be a year and a half now. We thought that if we kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. But the teachers keep pressing us to call it quits, and then we get party crashers like you two. Maybe the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and after all. So Team Star and this big boss of yours, they really that important to you? <laughs> is the sky blue? Let me put in words you egghead said the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Don't know. I don't know why we can't. Roto to to to. Your eats me. It seems Giacomo no longer carries his star badge, the symbol of his status as a boss. Gave it to you, did he? I see. With its boss out of the picture, the Sagan squad is pretty much done for. Oh, Giacomo. Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. About your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make in the TM machine. This new TM should help you improve your Pokemon battle capacity even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there. So much so that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials to make TMs. I don't know. Uh, hello. I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. I was glad to help. Oh, so you do remember. But um, I helped out. I'm helping out with this Operation Starfall as part of my independent study, you know. The treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. So here you go. Your bonus reward from Casoperia. Casopia, whatever his name is. She's only half ginger, doesn't count. <laughs> she mixed in blue. <laughs> you should be able to make tons of TMs with those. And Casopia said you'll get more rewards each time you take out the Team Star base. Also, um, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. You see, seems you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so um, good luck. Lizzie, stop dying already. It's too soon for death. Don't you understand? How the clouds move as you speak. The clouds move as you speak. What kind of flirtation is that? 
Lizzie, have you lost it? Do I need to call an ambulance? Ooh. I don't know what flirting even is, so I'm just taking wild guesses here. No. I actually did not notice that. Then again, I'm too busy reading. Probably because that the game uh, still lets the time pass even while in a cutscene slash dialogue option. seconds to get to the Pokemon Center and make chocolate. I said way too many points anyway, stop bitching. Stop Uh, okay. I could check this side real quick. Oh no, I can't. That's in. That's up the hill. We need to do this one. Mm. Let's see, what is my closest... Ooh, there's a Shuppet thingy here. An electric raid here. 
So I think we're gonna go past everything first and get see if I can get to Za Papokio over there. Try at least to get over there. I kind of want to go tech check out this invasion here as well. Now listen here, you. I'm not a dog. I'm a cat. <laughs> You're allergic to yourself, says Lizzie. Then, Jesus. Uh, where's the bread store here again? Because I still need to talk for new recipes. I think I am. Yeah, that's uh, where I needed to go. Maybe I'll do a Sam Mitch making uh, thingy. Okay, so where are my ship at uh, game? Maybe it's up top. Even though it says it's here. Okay, fine, we'll make some itch. How do I make sandwich again? Oh. Make sandwich. Let's make a classic Bokal Dilo sandwich or something. What is creative mode? Oh, no, we don't care about that. Does it uh, have, like, a um, spore thingy with it? No? Okay, good. No, I fucked up. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> I didn't pay enough attention to the buttons.
And it's incredibly hard at that angle, okay? Lizzie was like, how the fuck can you mess up so badly? <clears throat> yeah, they liked it. I got three stars. Is there a rest button in this game or what? No, there isn't. No, I guess we're moving forward. I don't know how many stars there are. I'd say there are only three stars. <laughs> Yeah, would you have gotten so mad, Lizzie? Does play rough more effective than how? Nah, ah, never mind. We don't care. It's dead now. That's all that matters.
Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Okay, um... I'm pretty sure that this leads through the Dark Star thing and we don't want that. Just yet. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, Yordi style illegality. We're coming back here in a bit. Because we need to explore everything first. We are taking out the raids, though, on the road. Saves me some time. Lizzie, what's up? Remember all my timeouts? I don't remember a single of your timeouts. Oh yeah. Those I remember. What about them? Uh, yeah, I already knew that. But it was still fun. Lizzie, did you know that you're a confusing girl? laugh because I forgot. Uh-huh. Forgot, she says. Oh, wrong button. Yeah. I know, because I won't forget. Thankfully, you don't forget to live. Got home later and then my niece was there.
<sighs> Isn't that a great way to wake up? Hearing your niece fall while you're falling asleep? Oops. Lol. That is hilarious. There are a lot of sandy guests here. And another new Pokemon. Oh, I didn't want to kill it. Oops. Finizen. Look at this cutie. And then sometimes I have to apologize because you can't take it. <laughs> Cringe. Yet her ass doesn't apologize. Even more cringe. Gertie is getting distracted. Where the fuck am I? I was not supposed to explore this area. At least not really. I was gonna do something else first. <laughs> but then Gertie got distracted again. Also, where are these- Oh, look at the fucking Gyarados, yo. That's kinda small. She were my kid, oh, I'd be set her straight, and I wouldn't have her her table playing Roblox by herself, and she put her actual name, made her change. Wow. That's the first thing we taught my little sister about internet safety. Ooh. 
Lol. That's bad. Uh, water type. Current grass type. People that got kids between now and 10 years ago, and probably still in the next 10 years, I would not trust with children whatsoever. I was speaking in more of the majority kind of thing, but sure, Lizzie, sure. And flora, flora. Anyways, I'd always rather be proven wrong than uh, right sometimes when it comes to the things that I say, so, you know, don't have to take me too serious. go exploring. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Why did I get, like... I was gonna dash to go get the evolution item for Zillin, and now... <laughs> Welcome back. <clears throat> Is there anything fun in these trees? Ooh. Something came out. 
Wait, a little yo out of a tree? So how is work today, Lizzie? Any more uh, crazy people? I mean, I prefer old school over new school when it comes to raising people or kids. And just because you're old school doesn't mean you can't be open-minded. But that's just my opinion. And I will never get kids anyway, so... Take my opinion with a grain of salt. What the fuck is that? Wait, bro, am I seeing things? Two shinies? That's not shiny, right? No, you're not a shiny, because otherwise you wouldn't fight it. And you? You're not a shiny either, okay? I'm just going crazy. Hey, Pikachu! Starting to go off! to do, but fuck it. Triple dive? What the hell is that? Cool. Should be night now, right? I'm gonna use a few rare candies on my dog so that it evolves. 32, I think it was. Play rough, sure. Look, the ghost dog turns into a bigger dog! A bigger ghost dog! Hound the stone! Last respects, what the fuck is that? Cool. Oh, but it's ability change to Sand Rush. That is kind of cringe. I liked uh, the ability that it had. 
Oh well. Let's see, where are we? We've explored this completely. Now we'll explore this. Catch this. Womp womp. Oh, it's a monkey. What is a monkey? Are you a monkey? <laughs> ooh, ooh, uh, uh. Pika, Pika, Pikachu. Thought you didn't know what a Pikachu was. Sometimes I am, you already. Only sometimes? I thought we were always, at all times, monkeys. Pika Pikachu is assumed you saw one. You're right, I didn't just see one, I saw 15. Pika, Pika, Pikachu! Shit, that was not what I wanted. Die to the power of my mighty attack! SQ was up. I 
Azumarion. Azumarion. Rude loses bounds. Hmm. Can't really do anything against that. Player off is way more effective. It's way more power. We're almost gonna get the final evolution of my pink thingy. Whatever it's called. Climb the tower. No, it's because I renamed it something else, which makes it incredibly hard for me to remember what it was originally named. can't reach that yet. Weird. That wasn't the real Doherty, because the real Doherty doesn't exist. That was just a figment of my imagination. <laughs> they tried to be Dark Souls. It's because everyone tries to be Dark Souls. they evolve yet because it leveled outside a battle let's go kick this old man's ass then
One does not live in the cold. They endure. Yo, Daro wants to learn Night Slash. I think I'm putting that over regular. Wait. Yeah, over regular Slash. I don't know what that is. I'm American. <laughs> uh, typical Lizzie. Why is my almighty not evolving? This pisses me off. Let's learn fake out. Nah. Ah, heh, <laughs> it's 39, not 38. Maybe it is 38 and I just messed up. Look, my pink hammer girl turns into a bigger pink hammer girl. Look at that hammer, yo. Tinkaton. Kawaii! Can't use this move twice in a row. You know what? Sure. Wait. Can't be you. Oh, this move can't be used twice in a row. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Pretty sure there was another trainer around here somewhere. I ran past. Yes, I can. But it's fine to be bored. You don't always have to be not bored. Hmm, I can't find the guy. Well, I guess I'm just heading to the Pokemon Center and healing up. Loaded dice, an item to be held by a Pokemon. This loaded dice always rolls a good number, and holding one can ensure that the holder's multi-strike moves hit more times. Interesting.
I don't think it's a good idea to put Belly Bolt up front right now. Let's uh, throw Slung up front. That might be fun. Oops. Okay, Jordine. Listen, we're not gonna explore this area. We're gonna dive he all fl run this way, jump in the water, climb over this way, and go this way. Grab these two unlockable points. Firestone. We can pick up everything we see on the road, except for fights. We're not doing that. And raids, we do pick that one. And teleportation points, obviously. Don't be bored, be happy! I'm just wondering how that Pokémon goes. To the bathroom, which Pokemon? Hey, Pichu. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to send you in there. The one I'm on. Just like any other Pokemon. Oh, no, I don't want to go in a group. Bye bye, Pichu. Sayonara, Pumerio. No, 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 we're not going that way. Jordi's not getting distracted. You know, 
that's just a regular one. Can't reach that. Yordi says it's not getting distracted. Gets distracted instantly. Pokemon got diarrhea and his poop turned into... Q's imagination is getting too lively. Yeah, these Pokemon are level twenty five, it's not too bad. And the Kunda. Regular Dug Trios. Roto to 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 Yo, Yordi, so somewhere in one of the mines that surround here should find a lurking steel titan. Okay, lurking steel titan. Wrong button. Uh, that's this one comes right after we do seven. It's pretty soon, but we're not doing that right now. So that's why the level is not that much higher. I'm glad, because I don't really want to... Explore this area too much just yet. Actually, cannot not explore, can he? Phalanx. I actually cannot not explore. I just always have to go full blast. get there eventually though.
Dynamo. So might as well catch it. Sorry, gotta ask, how come Vincent's Pokemon with wheels looks more normal than yours? Looks like poopy wheels. Was there an option in the beginning or something? No, SQ, uh, mainline Pokemon games always come with two versions. Right? This is the one that Vincent has. It's Violet. And this is the one that I have. So he has a different version of the game. With a different... Uh, wheel Pokemon. Does that all make sense? Crap. Runs into Murkrow. This guy... Okay, we're gonna let Zillar officially evolve. If I... ...can find where the item is stashed. Oh, here. Want Zillin is evolving? Congratulations! Zillard turned into an Armorage! Now he's a fire psychic type. Okay, interesting. Let's learn Psy Shock. Oh no, it's officially become a freaking special decker. Mystical fire. Over. Incinerate. Yeah.
see what else he can learn. Let's go to my TMs. Cool. Wrong button. Oh, doesn't matter. Need to move some things out of this box anyways. Like you need to go... In here. just so that I have some more spaces. Put you in here. Get out. And now my boxes should have been increased, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, Dinamo needs to go to a different box as well. And the rock rough. Silazard. My shiny. This one can go as well. This I have a stronger version of him now. So we can't use that. Uh, there was another Pokemon in here that I need to move, right? My shiny Shinx. Now, apparently that was just in my head. Okay. Two of you need to move to... ...slightly closer. Now we fuck the hell out of here. Because there's way too much to do and to explore, and I'm gonna do that a little bit slow. Is it? No, it's light. Is that nothing? Because I should have these two areas completely to my disposal right now. Trainer butts to kick. Hello, Mamola.
I could actually have you uh too late. Paris at this point. Let's see, what is this, uh, Terra... A Terra Growlithe. Wait, is this one shiny? No, it's just a regular. <laughs> Hope we don't kill it. Nice. Oh, we can't kill it because Terra. Da, Yordi. You numb skull. Eee, don't shout at me. Sheldar plus Ghost. I'm not shouting at you. I'm not calling you numbskull. I'm calling myself a numbskull. Ask you, what did we last talk about when it came to um, thinking negative things are being said about you? <laughs> I don't know, I wasn't listening.
I don't hate you. <sighs> so don't try, it's a long process. <laughs> it is a long process and a hard one. Guy just called me a meanie head. I want to be number one! <laughs> I want to be the very best Like no one ever was To catch them is my real test To train them is my cause Well, this little turd is spamming U-turn. Cringe. Yes, Anas, that's his name. Not Anus, but Anas. Holy shit, this kid had a lot of money on him. Bolt. I guess we're just gonna go with Yodado. Oh, wrong button. Dang it, game.
gonna take on the third gym soon. <laughs> That a bug type? Yeah. Boom. Insta death. I'm catching it. I already caught a lot of bidoofs. Someone pooped rainbow crystals. That uh, would be uh, very nasty. Test Bella Bolt more, but I don't want to lose my Pokemon. <laughs> Deerling. Perfect. Go, Ziller, use Mystical Fire. Oops. Don't know where this asshole suddenly came from. Must have noticed that I was thinning the horde. The herd. The horde, the herd. Call them turds. Vadoom! Oh, he's also poison type. And steel, my mind wasn't rock. 
死ねとなるでよ Learn Lava Plume. Ah, <laughs> boom! Ah,、oh, motherfuckers! This guy yet. <laughs> Sendile. Sendile is dark, right? Or is he now just ground? Yeah, I will swap.、Mm. Okay, that's all of them. Dreadnought. That's the wrong Pokemon to send out to this, by the way. Balls. I should probably wait for till I have some quick balls or something. This is gonna kill, isn't it? <sighs> Good job, Dretnom! Surviving like a champ.
Oh, I forgot something. Six spikes. Wahahaha! <laughs> That is definitely the wrong typing. Threaten all them. This time we show no mercy to the Dreadnaw. This time it dies. Levincia. Bachuri soon. Astounding. Body Chordio! Well, I'm insanely weak against this guy. Both flying and fire. Thankfully, we also have dark. <laughs> uh, Hound Doom! You know what? We'll. S mm. Yeah, play rough should work. Thirty nine, super effective. Sad didn't kill him. Where's my Pokemon, anyways? Oh, Dazzlin! Buttons, like always. Ooh. Guess I should be checking out what's down here. I'll do that last after I check this side completely. Nobody here. We're going up. Thick.
Now that one is just very tiny. Good to know. I can just jump into the... Ooh. Wait, is that...? Oh, just a regular color. Never mind. This tower rules has electricity. It's not bad, right? Flower trick! Finger points. Oh wait, Zen Head, but doesn't work because I'm dark! Yes! Let me switch out, because, um... If uh, I get hit by any other attack that uh, might deal a lot of damage, I'm completely boned by that. Almighty has a lot more uh, durability and better... Rest? Wonder if this kills. No, it doesn't. Leaves him exactly with one HP. Probably a little bit more. Nice, we got him. We ever need to replace someone, we can uh, use a new name on the tower rolls. Slowpoke. That thing's name was Crabarant or something. Crabsment. Smash. Train punch. Okay, one more area to clean out, but I think I'm gonna clean that out air that area out when I and on top of here obviously, but I can't reach that yet. When I go to the fire shite person. Because it's on the road. So let's go do the gym. No items at all. At least not off the ledges. Mm -hmm. 
Grimers, the Kirilla. Oh, Rotom is in the game as well. Talk about crazy. Pink Tantrum. That's a special type move. I was getting unnecessarily hyped. Also, I still need to do some exploring down here. This is one interesting city, yo. Stone. Let's see if I can get some better looking shoes. High top is okay, I guess. At least it looks better than uh, 
Boom! Pure black shoes that I was wearing. Soaks. game is like, uh, don't you have these already? And I'm like, yeah, but I like them very much, so I need more of the same one. Ow. interested in going into the gym yet. Wise glasses. Here's the X. New backpacks. I like this backpack though. What's this? Pokemon was like if you pick the red dragon you can eat spicy sandwich. If you use the blue dragon you can eat water. SQ. Are you sure? Eats water? Don't you mean drink water? You already isn't like no like water. Yeah, true. I don't like drinking water. I'd rather stick with my spicy food. Depends on the ice cream, though, SQ. <laughs> Did you just shoosh me before I said depends on the ice cream? <laughs> she saw it coming from miles away. Damn. He was starting to learn.
Understone number two. Everything here. Now to the other side of the city, see if we can buy any more fun uh, things. And more loot, obviously. Oval stone. When will you learn not to question SQ? The day you actually start making sense. Instead of uh, brainless. Just watch out, SQ, because otherwise I'm gonna do the Ronzo thing that uh, the Ronzos did to Kimari instead of Hornless. I'll do Brainless, Brainless. <laughs> um, so you mean never? Yeah. If that's the case, yeah. If it's never gonna happen, then I'm gonna continue questioning it until. You start having a little bit of sense. Lizzie, hi. Don't we all, Lizzie? Don't we all? We're taking the orange case. Pokeballs. Battle item. Soft sand, loaded dice, metal coat. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh. No. So to go style. Gloves and hats. Listen, why would I want to wear a helmet with these clothes? This is the hair slum. Because it doesn't fit with the cl with the fucking outfit. I'm starting to have a feeling that the r for the rest of my life I'm gonna need to run around with this ugly ass school outfit uniform. No, Lizzie, not yes. No, no. What is the spring uniform like? Oh, this time I'm not wearing a coat. Like, why the fuck is the autumn uniform in shorts? Where the fuck did I get these socks? Okay, we've explored the city. Time to go fight the gym leader. Roto to to to. Hey, you already it's me. How's the gym journey going? Which one are you going for now? Wait, seriously? I'm close by. Hang on, I'll come say hi. She wants the D, yo. Look at you with two gym badges already. Awesome. This is the gym you chose to be number three, huh? Well, you're up for to the challenge for sure, but like, just to be safe, you probably better have a pre-gym warm-up battle with me. Yeah, let's!
I don't know. We're wearing shorts. Because this is the autumn outfit, apparently. And in autumn, you wear shorts. And in spring, you wear long pants. How hard am I going to bitch slap her? Look rough. I got a blue rock rough. Maybe those who can fucking throw Pokeballs better can... <sighs> pommy, 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 pommy. Quaxwell. This is the evolution of the duck. The first evolution, at least. Fucking ballerina. Today's mission, make Yordi angry. I'm not gonna fucking terrestrialize my Pokemon. I don't need to, to kick your ass. <laughs> Let's... You get even way stronger, like way, way, way stronger. And once you do, you and me can just battle our hearts out. Listen, we can battle our hearts out right now, if you want to. <laughs> I know this little motel around the <laughs> Okay, I, enough making... ...weird-ass jokes about that. Fuck, I'm a 10-year-old. I can hit on a 16-year-old. <laughs> this, this is why you shouldn't leave me alone with fucking anime. Especially when comments like these can pop out. Bad Yordi. I'm not bad, I'm very nice. At least she healed all my Pokémon, that's nice of her. Welcome to Levine CS Gym. Let me register you as a challenger, your name is Jordi, yes? No, my name is Big PP Mon. <laughs> Great, now in order to face gym leader Iono, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at Levi Levincia Gym, that means staring in one of Iono's streams. Iono's a streamer as well as a gym leader, so we want you to dazzle her audience with your skills and rack up those sub subscriptions. 
Just head outside and you'll soon find out what you need to do. Now get out there and have fun. Wait, what? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Lone Yono Zone. What does that mean? Hey, hey, hey! Your eyeballs are mine, caught in my electro web. Who's the what's it? Yono, I'm the gym leader here. Hello, hello, hello! Ciao and bonjour! Oh snap, look at you, already a master of yono -ness. Not your first rodeo, eh? And uh, I hope this doesn't come as too much of a surprise, but you're being broadcasted live to the world right now. Smile. Anywho, Challenger, thank you for coming out to the Levincia gym to see me. I'm super happy you're here, but I'm also a bit of a celeb, you know. I'm all kinds of busy, so I can't collab with you unless I know you can bring in those sweet, sweet few numbers. Uh, I mean, uh, I gotta make sure you can bring some real passion to my stream. <laughs> A VTuber, Yordi's favorite. I don't have hate for VTubers. Never said that. And so, if you want to battle me, you're gonna have to help me make this livestream a viral hit first, got it? I can tell you just can't wait to get started. Well, well, well then, allow me to explain the plan. Come on out, Mr. Walks About. Level. Oh, Yordi, what a coincidence meeting you here. Say what? You know, guys know each other or something? This here dude had a real aura about him when he was walking down the street, so I snatched him. So I snatched him up for my dealio here. You are, uh, too kind. <laughs> well, honey, you, Yordi, you said it in a tone like, ah, a VTuber, Yordi's favorite. That makes it sound as if I dislike VTubers. As you're today's challenger, I'ma have you play hide and seek with Mr. Walks about here. Look for the good gentleman using the street surveillance cameras. Find him three times and you can consider this gym challenge past. We need a better name for this challenge. Though, I'll call it... Where in Lenvincia is Mr. Walkabout? Think that title's safe? There's nothing iffy about it or anything, right? Oh, uh, whatevs. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go. Get ready to hide, Mr. Walks about. Feel that I owe the Pokemon League for many past... For many a past favor, so I'm more than happy to help. Do bear with me as I try my best in my allocated role. <laughs> Look at it run! He just went like... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mayhap or Depper gentleman is ready. Hey, Mr. Walks about, you good to go? Yes, I am. Yo ho ho ho. Ready he be. Mr. Walks about is hiding somewhere in this video feed, friendo. Open those eyes wide like a magnemite and get to searching. Ready or not, here's our challenger comes. I already found him. This one is very easy, the first one. Okay, yeah. Oh dear, it seems you found me. Our challenger has found Mr. Walks about. Oh, so you did it. You're one cool kid. Well then, before we move on to the next round, let's make this thing a little more interesting. You get to have a battle with one of my fans. Get out here, you silly Pokemaniac. 
Yono's Hype Squad is here. Long live the Yono Zone! <clears throat> Are you making me fight one of my favorite Pokemon lines? You son of a bitch. Win or lose, yo no hype squad forever. And you win! Well done, challenger friendo! Time for change of scenery. Here we go! The next stage for my totally rad test. Everybody loves it. It's the Pokémon Center. Mr. Walksabout is once again hiding in the feed somewhere. Panic! Ah, find him quick! This one is also very easy. He's just standing in... Uh, Nurse Joy's place. Oh, here I thought I had blend into my surroundings quite well. Not well enough. You're an old man, not a cute nurse. Mr. Walksabout has been found once again. Yes, I knew you were something special. Let's spice things up again before moving on to your old next round. Another Pokemon battle with the Pokemaniac, Pell. Dynamo. Bite. Fluffy. Um. I don't want to get paralyzed by accident by a Flaffy with static. Or going over to a special attacker. You know what I haven't lost to you in? My devotion to Missy Ono. Cringe. And you win! Well done, challenger friendo! There's no stopping ya. Master of seeking and master of battling. You're the real deal. Alrighty then, time for change of scenery. This one is actually a bit harder. Oh, I already found them. The last stage will be this place right here, the Battle Courts, where battles are a raging. Can you find Mr. Walksabouts among these randos? Let's find out. Ready? Go! Like, if you search the entire thing, he's not here, but he's literally standing on this boat to the corner. Fucking clever. My, my, admirably done. I hope you will find your treasure in your independent study with just as much ease. Whoa, my subscriber numbers are on the rise like a super fast electrol crawling out of the ocean. Uh, I mean, congratulations on passing my gym test. Oh, diggity dang. What a good time, huh? You had people on the edge of their seats worldwide. I bet I could have some super red streams by collabing with you, Yordi. So hey, when you're ready, just hit up my lobby staff. They'll get you all set up to collab with me. Lickety split. I'll be ready to go whenever. Lickety splits. Beep beep, I killed the sheep. Haha. <laughs> okay, I wonder how many Pokemon she has and what level they are. I hope about like twenty-five. Though, 
all my Pokemons are way over leveled, so who cares at this point, right? Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Your eyeballs are mine, call in my electroweb. Who so what's it? Yo no! Hello, hello, a ciao and bonjour. I thought ciao was goodbye though. It's time for the Yo no zone, everybody. Fucking shark teeth though. Today's challenger is flying high with a what roll? It's Jordy! Yay! But, but my Chinese Zodiac is a goat slash sheep. How are you feeling about this battle, Jordy? Ready to do my best. Boom! We got a straight talk here, eh? No nonsense, I like it. Alright then. Just ready to see me kick some butt. Looks like you're all getting hyped. Aha! Thank you much, Electro King. Let's get this show on the road! How strong is our challenger? I don't know, let's find out together! Give me a battle that'll electrify all my viewer pals! She starts off with a watch roll. Belly bolt. Wait, I thought this was her ace. So belly bolt isn't her ace. Twenty three though. Flower trick. Show. Intimidate. Fine, I can go minus one. Still kick your ass. Okay, what is her ace? Miss Magius. Okay. That is actually very surprising. Oh no, this isn't good, loyal fans, I need to hear you screaming! I haven't even used anyone else on my team yet. Come forth, shiny little light bulb! I'm not done yet! Yono power, go! Magius is out. Whoa, oh, whoa. You're as flashy as a and bright as a ten million volt thunderbolt, friendo. Challenger came out victorious. Well done, Yordi. Hey, 
hate to say it, but I lost. Thanks for cheering me on, anywho, my loyal friends. Well then, what does our challenger get for beating me, the lean, mean, streaming queen? I tell ya, you already, you win a gym badge! Woohoo! Screen cap this quick. This'll be a shot you'll want to save in your brain space forever. By the biases, with three gym badges, Pokepals of up to level 35 will be easier to catch. They'll listen to you when you ask them to do stuff too. And as my thanks for s such a sweet pick, I'm gonna give you a TM. A T with T E E and then E M. Volt switch. Oh, that's actually a pretty nice one. I don't know what to think of her jacket, though. It's a little bit over the top. Pardon me, hello. You just defeated the gym leader, yes? And your name is Yuri, if I recall correctly. Tell me, you seek to become a champion, yes? Just what I hope to hear. You have a rare talent, especially for your age. Aim higher, greater heights are within your reach. Oh, but I've forgotten, I've gotten ahead of myself. I am Gita, chairwoman of the Pokemon League, the organization that runs these gyms. As you seem to be collecting gym badges, I suspect we'll meet again down the line. Until then, good day to you. You know what I forgot to do <laughs> in all of this? I wanted to go do the classes. But I completely forgot about them. Those are new rates that spawned? Oh, new raid spawned because I probably got more gym badges now, right? First talk to Yume. Like to buy. Repeat balls. Still not the stuff that I'm looking for. Treasure. have already slipped over it somewhere. Full switch. Over 
charge. Um. Let's go check these raids. Love to have some more XP candy. Still got weenies, yo. Gigaton Hammer! Did we catch the skunky? We didn't catch a skunky yet, so we'll catch it. Not shiny. Okay, I thought it was shiny. <laughs> uh, where the fuck am I going? Gotta engrave the what the shinies look like of some of the new Pokemon. Some of them are really hard to see the difference of. Okay, uh, map. 
So she is... We need to do her in a bit as well, or we need to do her. But she starts here, and I feel like I want to explore this area first, see if there's any fun Pokemon and loot. I uh, still need to pick up. To which, obviously, and raids, obviously, but I do need to pick all these up. All these items. See, is this a Magikarp? Oh, didn't want to change Pokemon. It's a fairy magic card. Still build. Rookie D, you motherfucker. That's uh, that rolling ball, my dude, again. Let's kick this guy's ass. Abel. Abel. 
Agreed and... I think I'm gonna set... Um, our belly bolt up front for a bit. He's slowly catching up, but he's still the lowest Pokemon on the team. I gotta change my team setup anyways. <clears throat> like this for the next uh, sort of badge thing, I guess. My two strongest Pokémon are weak against fire, and we're gonna need to fight fire types. Belly Bolt! Pull out. Electromorphosis. Mercedes, the student. Wow, she's jealous. Like Belly Bolt is very happy fighting these tar rolls. Intimidate. You couldn't get away, cringe. Work up. Using a fucking poke to run away. My map keeps spinning. Make it stop. Sends out Komala. Comatose. Yawn, that's not really great. Full switch now, boy! <laughs> or, you know, we just crit and kill him. Just can't decide. Valentin's a student. Rembril. I know this thing is ghost, but what is the other typing? All of it is bad. 
Wow, not very effective and I still almost kill it. This thing must be incredibly weak. Defense-wise, at least. Or it might just be level 19. Type. And it's three star. My first three star. Let's just hope uh, it doesn't do any scary things. Zen Supersonic. Great. Belly Bolts! Come on, Belly Bolts! You got this! Nice! Oh, that did nothing. Haze. Kylie hit himself. I hit myself. Do I at least get my... No, we don't. I might not actually be able to make this one. If I look at the current party right now. And see what they're using. Come on, Belly Bolt. Damn it, bro! Prince and you double hit. Don't know why I'm using water gun. Eh, <laughs> we're out of confusion, finally. I want him to actually hit me, though. Not supersonic again! Foothole! I know it's just not gonna hit me purely due to the fact that... Uh, I can power up. Pretty sure this terrestrialization is electric, right? Not that any of my electric moves do any damage. Butthole! Charm. Till. I forgot we could do that. Critical hit, Aqua Tail. Belly Bolt fainted. At 
This is the first time where I felt that we're actually with a terrible, terrible team. Did he just use Haze? Cringe. Double hit. Super effective. Speed fell. Full switch. You can feel tremendous energy gathering. Oh, I should have actually... No, not Super Sonic! Yes, it missed! I might actually be able to finish it. Ha 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 ha! I want this one, by the way. It has electric terror type. It's fucking chill for pure water type. <laughs> we barely beat that. Jesus Christ. I should have paid better attention to what the terror... Oh, well, I knew what the terror type was. I just didn't think that level 3 was such a big difference. Look, I'm a butterfly god to be like, haha, no, hope smash. Sag. Sag SQ, Super Sag. Ah, it's you, Yordi. Clive? Yep, that's me, Clive, the normal Academy student. Anyway, Yordi, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. Why did you join? I need answers, that's all. How do I resolve the situation with Team Star? What's causing its members' own behavior? What situation? Team Star is subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the Academy, you know. Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they're holed up in their bases, plotting to cause trouble for the academy. But these are rumors. The matter I am directly confronted with is something else. Talking about Team Star's persistent tuarency? They've all been skipping class for a while now. Five of them in particular, the so-called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much set foot inside of the classroom over a year. That butterfly was called TQ. TQ? God damn it. Hi, Lizzie. And it seems the team's rank and file have recently started to stir up mischief as well. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. Informed them that should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel the students affiliated with their team. I'm afraid there has been no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice between this solution or expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, when I overheard you talking on the phone to Cassiopeia, I couldn't have come to a more crucial time. Rotototo. It's Cassiopeia. Can you hear me? Another time then. Be careful.
See her coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? It's just me. What's up, Yordi Konichan? Yordi Konichan. Yordi Onichan. I'm not an Onichan, okay? Let's not let's not put that uh, near me, because uh, we're gonna we're gonna have too much crazy things happening. Well, be warned that Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. Space won't go down as easily as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. Gojo Gisama. Okay, Lizzie, what is it? Gojo D Gojo Gisama or Onichan? Both. Master Onichan. Okay. Whoa, whoa, you can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick, I'll have to come at you in self defense, you get me? I'm not turning back. Well, alright, time for me to self defense the snot out of you. Self defense the snot out of you. Fucking interesting. Kiryu-chan! Incinerate. Electromorphosis. I defend myself all right, but it wasn't enough. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you the kid who declared war on Team Star? That's right. Whoa, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I'll book it back to the rest of my crew. Hasta la vista! Hey, Yordi! Cassiopeia told me to scope out the fire crew base. Thought I'd come give you some backup now that I'm through. But it seems you're all set. Fufu, what? Fufu! Is that you, Charles? Foo! Thought so, what are you doing here? Pokemon yours? This is Charles, the Char Cadet. Fool! He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Fool! Ah, Charles, wait! You ran off. Looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. Now, to who do I complain that you called me brainless, Bobo or Sep? You can do both. I'd better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. Roto to 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 to. See, so dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Stationed inside the base is Team Star's fire crew, the Shadar squad. Their boss, Mela, is the best all rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way. Through, though her methods are heavy-handed, our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of operation. Time to wipe the Shatter Squad off the map. Are we keeping Clive from the person on the phone? We're not technically keeping them apart. Beep, Kreutz. Some kid locked out beating one of our sister squads, and now he thinks he can take us on? 
Time to give him the boot, gang. Let's show this Gate Crasher what Team Star can do. If you're listening, Gate Crasher, know this. Unless you can beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss won't lift a finger to deal with you. To deal with the likes of you. So, Jesus, English hard. Anticipate normals. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I did. The defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. I named Schlong Schlong. We still need a name for Bellet Bolt, by the way. I mean, I won't deny that. As a matter of fact, it's the hard truth that I'm a pervert. You want to call Belly Bolt Lizio? Okay, use your points then, Lizzie. You're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. Don't know why you do something so stupid, and I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. Lizzie, you probably have enough points to use points. Yeah. I like her boots. Mela of Team Star. Thorkold. That is actually the worst Pokemon to start off against. Uses a Droth. I don't want to use my Fresh Point, lol. Why not? What else are you going to use them for? Um. To take over the world! To take over the world? This move will torch you till there ain't nothing but ash left! Well, go ahead against my flash fire, uh, Zillin. Torkoal's tough as fuck, yo. That was for the rest of the Shatter Squad. Oh, don't get so high and mighty, Miss... Uh, whatever. Run of room! Rev of room. Shh. Ain't burned to a crisp just yet. This is screech. Hmm. 
Oh, doesn't affect. Good to know. Speed boost. Ooh, cringe. He's swift. Harsh sunlight fades. Jet. Hmm. Blazing Fork. Not very effective. This bitch keeps uh, getting higher speed, yo. I don't like that. Blazing Torku. Holy shit, Swung almost died. Long uses waffle. So Lizzie, how are you gonna take over the world again with uh, my channel points? <sighs> Is this really how it's gonna end? What an asshole! About a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle. Pull it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. I managed to get a bunch of char cadets to evolve. That ought to be enough uh, to power the Star Mobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed. Is it not Orthiga? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it with the snipe comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? As if you're any better, Mela. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Orty. The girls at the Academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a Shirley attitude so they'll stop picking on her. <laughs> Although I guess you're not wrong to say that her Shirley attitude is what people know her for. Well, ah, come on, not you too, Airy. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star is finally happening. And the big boss? What well, prey is their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm stoked. The thrill burning me the thrill's burning me right up. <laughs> Jealous! I burned through everything I had, and now I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That bell bolt of yours really let us have it. Well, he didn't really do much, but sure. Holy shit, look at her walk! Beating me in battle is a huge deal, so here, take this star batch and be proud of yourself. And she just... Oh, I thought she punched me in the face. She just has a very tight hand grip, okay? Weak little me. While I'm at it, you can have this TM too. Not like I'm gonna use it. Flame charge. Let me make you make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Bella Bolt. Look at Hook! You got what you came for, so now leave me alone. You're Mellow from Star Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see, huh? Where are you supposed to be? Whoa! A Charcadet? Wait. Boom Foom! Well, if it ain't Charles, what are you doing here? It seems he came to this base looking for you. Ooh, ooh, you did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea where Carlos, Charles, Carlos wanted to visit you? Poo -foom. Poo -foom. Carlos. To me, it looks like he's saying that he wants you to come back. 
Just shut it already, would you? They say Team Star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First, I've heard of that stupid rumor like that. And nothing changes since back then. One's still spouting garbage. And what about that modified car you were motoring around just now? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before. What is this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? No, Operation Starfall? No, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me, the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. Cute. I need to know more! More! <laughs> tell me more! Tell me more! Roto Toto. Dirty, it's me. I take it that Mel and Star Batch is in your possession. See, now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Shatter Squad shouldn't last long. Mela. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there again. Now about your rewards, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. Use the new TMs to strengthen your Pokémon even further. I'll have my supply unit blah blah bonus material blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Hello, it's me again from the supply unit. Agya? Wow, what the heck? Hey, stop that! Somebody help! Yeah, it's been drooled all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? It is awesome. I guess that's one word for it. Wait, is it really that special? Ah, before I forget, here's your reward. Your name's Yordi, right? Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? They're pretty strong. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But uh, that's just info I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. Eat it! Eat it! Eat it! Eat it! Eat the burger! Eat the bloody burger! <laughs> also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses, someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. Hmm, I don't normally talk this much. Now my throat kind of hurts. So um, good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. Because you suck. <laughs> That's why. just like it too much when I uh, act like an idiot. I was shutting away my stuff and then I heard you yelling. <laughs> Putting away your stuff. That's impossible, Lizzie. You can't put away your stuff. Bloody hell! Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna call Belly Bolt Lizio.
Nice, good job. That's what we want to hear. jalapenos because they know I love spicy. That's a smart move then. I'm not actually fond of jalapenos. I tried them once but they weren't that great. Didn't get. It didn't feel like there came, there was any spice coming out of it at all. Probably just made it incorrectly or something. Ow. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself, me? Jalapeno, jalapeno. You know what I love? Milkshakes. It's all one needs. Milkshakes. Okay, uh, we're going... Not this way, but this way. They add pickles to this burger, fuck me! Damn it, Oak, I ate half a burger. God oh, damn it. I'm just glad pickles don't uh, leave a taste in stuff. Oh, you love pickles? I don't. I hate pickles. That's why I'm happy they don't leave a taste in stuff. Because otherwise I wouldn't be able to eat a burger with the pickle on it. Sadly, texture still thing. Oh, I'm heading in the wrong direction. Me and my family, we will fight over pickles. Okay. To ask for new uh, recipes. <laughs> Why though? I don't get that. <laughs> Why would you guys get upset over that?
Gas. Jesus, this one stinks. That's another uh, big boy uh, thing. Okay, now we go back up again. Sometimes you just put items on the roof, which is kind of weird. Lots of assholes to kick ass and such and things to explore. Willow Wisp. Jordi had uh, bread for dinner with uh, sweet um, thingy sauce, whatever it's called. And uh, balls, meatballs. I don't need shit. <laughs> okay, start with your protein next time. I only eat protein, yo. There's not a vegetable in my fucking diet. Okay, this one is not very happy. Tomorrow has no protein. Oh no, wait, tomorrow I'm gonna order food. Hariyama!
bitch, bitch slap. Big slap number two. Big slap number three. Bitch, how dare you bulk up. Oh, that's the wrong attack. Also, I don't need to grow, I'm already big enough. Vroom vroom, bitch! What's that? Ooh, that's a Kirila? What the fuck is a Kirila doing here, yo? my whatever it was called with that move I think I can nailed it Ooh, Dawnstone no shulk. Jesus, why are there so many items here? Firestone. SQ, what do you mean, sorry I'm late? You've been here the entire time. Oh, that's the wrong Pokemon to fight. Still one out, good. I think SQ is losing it. Oh. She's losing her mind, losing her mind, losing her mind. Oh, 
Cloud survived. Lame. Yeah, your stupid twin TQ was using it again. Yeah, yeah. She was saying things like how she was glad that Dordy is dead. The nerve! <laughs> um, yeah, that's what you say, but uh, according to TQ, you, you uh, are glad that Doherty is dead as well. Can't believe it. Jesus Christ, this place is confusing. Uh, wrong button. Let's see, where am I right now? Okay, let's go up. Then go down, I guess. Just me or are you different? Oh, you're not different. You better hurry, SQ. I heard she said uh, she was out to ruin your reputation reputation for the rest of your life.
Doesn't that hurt? Oh man! Why do I have to yawn like this? Masquerain. Welcome to my masquerade. jump high enough is that oh. freaking fish You're deep. Psst. Psst. What's up, SQ? What if one day I post a photo with TQ? Uh, you'll go completely cuckoo? Mm, completely? Probably not.
Well, that's gonna be hard because Doherty doesn't exist. This place feels like a fucking maze, yo. April Fools. It's not April. It's not April 1st. <sighs> One time there's gonna be, you're gonna say something that's important and I'm not gonna take you serious. No, shh. I already know to PQ didn't exist. That's a surprise, it's not April. Only the truth. Okay, now we defeated that guy. Oh, cool. I'll be nice. Fucking Diglett, piss off. Oh, arena trap. Oh, oops. Are you kidding me? Burns into a shitty diglet, gets Arena trapped. Take it, sucker punch. Rattled.
Don't force yourself. This is gonna send out the Gyarados. Yikes! With Intimidate, even. No, I'm not sending Thwong into this fight. That's asking for death. He has like three. Yeah, but Gyarados is one big boy. Yes, mistress. Lizzie's a pervert. Why does this area have to be so large? I don't like that it's so large. <laughs> it's fine, Lizzie. It's fine. You should have belonged to the degenerate crew already. It's Varum, and now it's dead. The vacuum poke. No, it's it's not a vacuum. It's more. <sighs> Lizzie, it's not a vacuum. Okay, it's a motor. No, not a vacuum. It's a motor. Oh no, snow! I need to slap every trainer I come across. I don't even want to tell you what that Pokemon looks like. Hey, Lizzie, tell me. Tell me. I do want to know what that Pokemon looks like. So what does it look like according to you?
Yes! Not no, but yes! It's okay, Lizzie. If you see dirty things, it's all okay. It's part of human nature. OMG She's almost gone Oh my god. They heard me say and I'm almost gone and then they start calling. Typical. Oh so typical. Can they just leave girl in peace? Something so that's a big boy, oh. That I don't want to fight. I know! Fuck, I didn't want to engage with this motherfucker. Well, they are really good at timing that, aren't they? Just that typing anyways. Holy shit, that hurts. Oh, it's also level 36. I can't even catch this motherfucker even if I wanted to. So good that there are so many random items lying all over the place. Fucker. Set someone else up front since my water Pokemon is slowly dying.
good to know that I can't get up there. I thought there was a cave down here, but currently I was uh, just uh, blind and dumb and crazy in the head and such. Whoa, Yordi, the tree won. Trees always win. <laughs> Flopple! I don't know. Because Game Freak are a bunch of bitches. Oh yeah, wait, here was the cave. Let's see where this leads to. To another item. I'm glad it didn't went that far, because then I don't have to worry about uh, the other side of the map too much. Also, Rude Lizzie. At least when you talk about us nerds, include yourself. Thank you, I try. Oh, damn it. Thank you, I try. Dig over water pulse. Oh, that's a grow life. I was like, what the fuck is that thing? It was just your regular old grow light. Larvitar by Larvitar. Just 
slowly killing one of my favorite Gen 2 Pokémon. If you hadn't made that jump, I was gonna yell at you. For what? For not making a jump? Rude. I know I'm bad at platforming, but I'm not that bad at platforming. Ooh. Do we jump down for that? You know what? We're gonna jump down for that. Booyah! Oh, it's just a person. We dead? Oh my, one motion that you? I scared SQ away. SQ was too busy trying to poke my brain, but my defenses were too strong. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Technically, we don't know that, that I, I actually scared her away. I'm just saying I scared her away. Because she's gone! Do I have a Hatana yet? No, I don't think so. Let's throw a Pokeball at it. I don't like it when the game gives me such wide areas to explore with not very good boundaries. That I can't, uh, like, chop my areas into pieces. Or exploration. If anything, I scare any everyone away. That's what I'm good at, scaring people away. Let's see, we're back on top. I still have this entire area to clean out. Which is on one side of the road. Well, let's go that way then first. Because last time I jumped down here... Thunderstone... Is that Titan Voltorb? Interesting. Come back to that. Like I said, Lizzie, I didn't do anything. We were just having our usual Yordi and SQ banters. Where she tries to, like, uh bully me or something or make me go crazy and because she's very bad at it I just countered every single one of her attacks you know like I always do
Yeah. I know you have achieved that. That's why SQ keeps trying to do it as well. Seeing as you are actually sort of smart and good at manipulating people. Excuse me? Sort of smart? Yeah, sort of. You're great at many things, Lizzie, but you're not always smarter than I am. <laughs> Come on. And slap you. <laughs> God damn it. Is just a regular cave. Damn it, it is. We're too far in a place I don't want to be yet. Now I also can't leave because I know there are items here that I need to pick up. I can't even exit this place easily, can I? Nope, I cannot exit this place. Interesting. Unless I had the climbing ability, obviously, which I don't. What sounds like a Yordi problem? That I can't exit a cave? Yeah, that is a Yordi problem. This cave leads two places. One dead end with a trainer. Zeppelin! Where have you been all night, bro? Zeppelin doll? Zap, do you want to see how far you have evolved? Lake, what's up? Welcome back. Holy shit, welcome back. That is a lot of fucking Sableye, yo. Uh, here. Look at how uh, Chungus your hammer has become. Yeah, you happy? Wait, where the fuck are you running away? Finally hatch my shiny Gumi! Nice! Congrats! Good job! She actually doesn't fit through the cave. Is that why she doesn't want to go that way? Her hammer is too big. <laughs> sure.
Nice. Good job. We need to go this way. This leads outside. What is it? Ooh, Espion is here. Even though I can't catch her yet, sadly. Okay, so I found Espion and I've already found out where Jolteon is. Well, where the fuck did I get. What the fuck? <laughs> I want to know what I traded for the Articuno. Yeah, sure. Tell me what did you get for the Galarian Articuno? I gotta go packing up. Bye, Yordi. Bye, Seppi. Lizzie, bye. Until tomorrow, I guess. I don't have the climb ability yet. Is there anything up there? Yeah. A ditto. Traded my ditto for an Articuno. Lol. That sounds like fucking ripoff. I'm not gonna lie. So how come that guy wanted a ditto? so badly that he gave you an Articuno. Appleton! Who knows? Who knows? Wow, it's fucking survived. The cringe. the Pseudo Legendary in this game is going to be like. That's an easy way back. Come back for that in a bit. Let me just run around the place first. I thought there was an item up here. Oh, there is. Aerobatics. Oh. Yuri is not very good at platforming, guys. But he's trying.
Spoke Doll, Cardboss, Bahamus. Okay, now let's go do that uh, mini raid. Then we head back to the main part of this area because we need to explore a lot more. Magnemite! So yeah, I was at my godson's birthday. Oh, I see. What did you end up giving him? Uh, Seppi? Money. Money. Everyone likes money, right? It is customary to give kids money as gifts so they can save up and buy something cool themselves. Well, that's the biggest bullshit lie I've heard, but sure. Oh no, I'm stunned! Will we fight? Do we catch this Magnemite? Because I don't have a Magnemite yet. Sure. Yeah, so I can't afford gaming PC, but... One big patient, we all gave him money and he bought one. That is not... That... It's not that big of bullshit. I mean, the fact that you say it's customary, that's kind of bullshit. <laughs> but uh, saying like, uh, oh yeah, we just... Uh, Put money together and give that to the guy so that he can save up and buy something big himself. Like everybody does that. Okay. Okay. Okay, Sep. You uh, keep managing to surprise me with the uh, customs. I have never heard of in my entire life. Uh, let's see, we jumped down here last time. We checked that cave, we went in that cave. Being a bit playing a game but wanted to say that it's a thing here too. No, it's not customary here. That that sounds... No. Also, Kel, what game are you playing? How is Dutch Comic Con? Why does that sound bad? You got an action man and some VHF after. It's. <sighs> it's not. It doesn't sound bad, but if you make it sound customary, it sounds like it's uh, some kind of thing that everyone is supposed to do in that country. Getting way too busy, some weird, annoying, creepy people, and playing Slay the Spire!
Did you kick any people in the nuts? Okay, let's talk about customs more when you are visiting somebody's house. Okay, take your shoes off or not? No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I've only seen a few people that were actually like uh, of of themselves, right? That they would like want to take off their shoes, but usually, <laughs> nope. Uh, how far have we explored yet? We're past this line. I think we're gonna do the the big boy. Crap. Yeah, Japan is like that as well, right? Yeah, that is a custom. True. you would be offensive if you did. If you decide to give someone a gift instead of money, that would not necessarily be offensive. A custom is something that is not necessarily required, but it would be offensive or indeed ill-behaved if you didn't do it. Big snack, where are you going? That is big snack. Or Drum Steel Titan. Let's see, Flower Trick. I can't actually, I don't actually, uh, not very effective. It has arms! Headbutt. Sandworm Worm. Sure, Sap, you make something funny out of it. Probably should have used Siller for it, to be fair. fuckers up for me a little bit so I don't have to actually do normal combat here. <laughs> nope, got picked up anyway.
going to take a high jump here. Okay, shiny? No, not shiny. Hell, who did you cosplay? Agnes Oblige uh, Oblige from Oh, so this is where we end up. Damn this fucker is leading me all over the place. There's a picture of my Insta story if you are curious later. Good, because I am. Ooh, nice cake. By the way, Sep. That makes me hungry. Stealing the herbs again, the bastards. Yeah, I know a lot of people that went today to uh, Comic Con. Okay, so what is the ability we're gonna get after this? I'm really curious. I swear, if it's climbing, I'm gonna be so happy. Oh. Toad School? I'm killing Toad School as well. <laughs> wow, Orthworm survived and Toad School died. One whole person? Nice. One whole person. We did it, Yordi. Way to go, little buddy. I'm not that tiny, you know, Arvin? Fucking dickhead. Did you get a good look at its face, though? Didn't expect a titan to be such a little cutie. Speak for yourself. I bet if we go in here, we'll find more of that Herbal Mystica I day before. Let's go find it before that thing can regroup. <laughs> Let's go find that thing before it can kick me in the nuts. I'm sure it's, there are some here too. Why is there a fucking Ultra Ball in the middle of the room? Like, they also have, like, random Pokeballs laying in the room in, uh... When you're doing a Titan raid. Or, not Titan. Terror raid. I knew it! I spy Herba Mystica! Salty Herba Mystica. Our successful search. We're on a roll. Now, let's see. What does the book have to say? Apparently, Salty Herba Mystica helps with aching hands and feet, good for neuropathy and numbness. When you've got muscle weakness, it supposedly builds up strength again. This will definitely help Mabo Stiff feel even better. Mabo Stiff. Come on, Yordi, let's go some... Make some food again. Get some food again. Ding, ding, ding. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go, another of your favorite old Arvin sandwiches. And it comes with a special Titan badge. The Pokemon League might not recognize it, but I hope you appreciate it all the same.
Sometimes my eyes look so incredibly bored in this game. And here we go again. There's my buddy. Yeah? Figured this might happen. Don't worry. I made extra this time for that brood of yours. But he likes mine better. Come on out, Mabo Stiff. Got some for you too, bud. That's it. Small bites, small bites. Damn it, still no climbing? At least we get higher jumping. Come on, at least bother to taste it before you swallow it right down, would you? This bird seems to be benefiting from the herbs too. Guess in its own sort of way. Oh yeah. Before I forget, you already take another look at this. There's always a Titan Pokémon near the Herb and Mystica when we find them, right? Like the book says, it's not like big old Pokémon just happen to like these herbs. It's actually something in the Herb that's making the Titan so big and strong. So does that mean Titan's lair isn't really some kind of treasure hoard or whatever? It's just a pantry here where the Titan keeps its food? You done with your sandwich, Mabo Steve? Rough. Y you heard that, right, Yordi? Mabo Stiff just woofed, right? Yep. All right, I'm not imagining things. <laughs> See? See at that? I knew I wasn't hearing things. Oh, Mabo Stiff. Who's my best bud, huh? Who's my best boy? You are, yes, you are. It's been so long since I heard that woof. The Steve is definitely getting better. Ever since I teamed up with you, good things keep happening. But we still got two more herbs to go. Arr. I do like this quest line with the Titans. It's a little bit slow though, but at least I can jump higher now. Roto to to to. Hello, Yordi. This is Sada. I detect Corn Dai has regained more of its original power. While you're riding upon it, it seems you can now jump higher if you press and hold the B button. Please continue to take good care of Corn Dai. Corn Dai on Doom. How high can you jump? Okay, that that is a big improvement at least, so I don't think I'll be that grumpy about it. Look, here's the snake version. The small version of it, at least. Come on, catch it, guys. Wait. Or Twoom? Oh. Ortho Worm. Shit. Iron Tail. Ha! Missed. Uh, steel's not very effective. They'll lower its HP with steel. I don't know if Ortho War. Yeah, every Pokemon so far spawns uh, normally as well, so if I need to shiny hunt them at some point. Damn, bro. Can you, uh. 
be a bit nicer. This might be enough to catch it with an open ball. Go, Ultra Ball! Bitch. I need to swap Zillin out. Otherwise, he's dead. I hope the rap ends, because... Otherwise, I can swap him out. Nope. Shit. Now we're healing. Yep. Nah, you don't gotta stop playing Slay. I swear if I crit now, I'm so pissed. Sandstorm subsided. Swapping to uh, Spook. Cannot get hit by Rap and Headbutt. Okay, uh, Repeat Ball, Quick Ball, Timer Ball, Dusk Ball, Dive Ball, Nest Ball, Net Ball. Don't really have much better, eh? All it can do is try... Bitch. Timer Bolt might be worth it at this point. I've come so far. The illegal three shake break. I can't say that again. Yeah, bitch. Anyone want to nickname it? You got a few seconds while I go uh, drink and miss. Dumbo, because it's cute. I mean, you kind of need to use your point scale, but I'll name it Dumbo.
The thing weighs 683 pounds. Jesus. Okay, I need to... Um, that's where he made the hole. Look, there's another one. So they do actually respawn. It's good to know. But Kelly, I need nicknames. Lydia, the musician. I mean, the name still fits. Uh oh, Zillin is low on HP. Oh, you got some HP back. Okay, um, wrong button again. Uh, I think we're gonna follow this path here to this Pokemon Center. Still can't reach bots like this. Super cringe. This one is the one that I could come out of, so if I've been here. Did I fight you yet? Yeah, we've been here. This is the one. Oh, that's just um... just a regular old butthole. Oh yeah! By the way, I uh, found another shiny today. It was the shiny rock rough, and I almost missed it. Yeah, because I, well, at least for what I can tell, there is like no special conditions to the despawning and spawning of Pokemon. I don't know about the rates exactly, but because you run around in an open world and shinies just spawn randomly, right? It's, I'm pretty sure it is easier to just find random shinies. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know anything about the the rates, for example, but my first shiny was a Terra shiny Pokemon, right? Which was extremely... Uh, I think that's probably one of the higher likely ones not to get easy, <laughs> so to say. So yeah, I was uh, kind of surprised that that shiny uh, Shinx, or that that Terra Shinx that I ran into was shiny. Obviously, I instantly had to have it because it's my favorite, one of my favorite Pokemons at least. It's 
Zillin kill this uh, fucking Greedent. I lost my first Pokémon to a stockpile attack. <laughs> it was literally insane. Gum shoes? What the fuck is that? Oh, that's that. That's the Trump Pokémon. Donald Trump. Get blasted! Okay, let's see. Uh, I need to climb this mountain. Then go around here real quick. Then climb this area, and then we're done with this area. Dragon Tail! Okay, let's fight this motherfucker. Yay! Are you still playing on your, uh... Brother's, uh... Uh, copy, uh... Oh, damn, brain. Shared, yeah. Back here, yo. Flareon, yeah, we're switching. We got uh, the Schlong, the triple dildo. That's me! Should've just bought it with my money when I told you about it. As a gift, early Christmas present. No! <laughs> yeah, that's the same reaction I got then. <laughs> and I was like, why so stubborn? Hariyama. Uh, Hari... Hariyama. Sure, we'll send in Spook. Yeah, we'll send in Spook. And do play rough. It survived with one HP, the cringe. Maybe I should have used uh, the Almighty. Stab and higher level would have definitely killed. But.
He's already so high level compared to most of my other Pokemon. Okay, so last time I was here, I remember checking him out there, but I don't remember what it was. So we're gonna have to check it again. Obviously, after climbing this mountain. And grabbing all the loot. Fuck. Sometimes I just plainly run over the loot, apparently. Uh, stupid dick lit. Arena trap. Oh, thank Jesus. I was not willing to commit to uh, arena trap dick lit. was a phalanx. Don't have enough gym badges right now anyway. Catch it most likely. Let's see. I know I rampaged a little bit through some areas on the way to get the evolution item. Traveling Pokemon Center, here to serve you. Wonder how many of these uh, coins I have by this point. Last time I checked I had like 300 something. That was still early on the day. I haven't actually checked if the coin boxes respawn. Because that would mean that they're not shiny huntable. And that brings distrust and distroth. Now we got this. Didn't grab this. There's a trainer there that I didn't kick ass yet. Ass kick. Psychic terrain.
We also didn't... Oh no, we didn't beat her. Okay, that means that... Where is he? There. This is probably the last one. Maybe. Come on, let's have a battle of luck! I don't like the sound of that, friend. If you're gonna use one-hit moves, bro... Okay, just the imp, imp Got nothing to worry about. This fucker just dies to Mystic Fire, hopefully. Is your luck good, or is mine just bad? <laughs> uh, funny. Yeah, we've been saying this since yesterday already, Sep. I've, like, way too powerful. No, I didn't overgrind. I have not been doing any grinding whatsoever. I've just been, like, exploring the world and... Beating all the trainers. I haven't actually grinded and caught that many new Pokemon. Ho 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 ho! Oh crap! I gotta go back up. But uh, yeah, I can't really do anything about the fact uh, that. Uh Everyone uh, wants to fight me. I'm just sexy like that. Damn, I gotta go from the top. And if I can run away from the tiny Pokémon, I run away from them. Or the wild Pokémon. And the raid dens don't actually give any experience points unless you use the candy and the XP candy that you get. Yeah, it's both candy. Shit, failed to pick it up again. Uh, I was on top of there and I jumped down, so... To go this way. Everything here is rugged. Finion! Oh, that's a bad matchup for Zillin. What is the level difference? 25 to 30... I'm... Sure, let's risk it. Use Psycho. We do have Stab, after all. Okay, Critical Hit does... help. Quillfish. Let's throw in Lizio. That's our new Pokemon, the newest team member. It's electric type. <clears throat> was that yesterday or was that today? Oh yeah, that was today when I lost my uh, other electric type, my electric fighting type. I actually figured out how to... Or figured out, I looked up how to... Evolve it into its uh, last form. And then it got killed. By accident. <clears throat> Which, uh... You know... Was not really a part of my plan. Since it was quite a cute little Pokémon. Let's 
so we're back here again. Uh, we're not going down into that cave yet, because that leads to a different area, I feel. <laughs> Ship it. Drift limbs and drift loom. Fuck, did this little bugger come from all of a sudden? This time, I will show no mercy. Flatter? What the fuck is that? Oh wait, I know what flatter is. Fuse the target, but uh, boost the special attack. Hell no. Oh, we can easily reteach it if the need rises for it at some point. Do I doubt I'll need it? Take down. Carry on my wayward son. There be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Oh. Fucking corporal. Don't you cry no more. Doom, 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 doom. I want to watch Supernatural again. I still actually need to finish Supernatural. Like, what, three seasons, I think? Trainer, I still need to ask it. According to my calculations, I calculated it all. I knew the likelihood you'd come talk to me was a hundred percent. Gerard. Lycan Rock, nice. Again, not really a good opponent for Zillar, but nice. Um Let's send in the schlong! <clears throat> what is that? Oh, that's... never mind. Let's just go for triple, triple dive, just to be safe. Yeah, figure. Uh, Aqua Jet might have actually killed. It does do 10 base damage more than one hit of... Ah, fucking Paris at this point. Zillin wants to learn Palm Mind. Setup? Seem. Let's 
Mm, sure. Let's go for it. Scyther. That's it. I'm pretty sure we cleaned the entire area up now. In any case, I've been everywhere. Let's go to the Pokemon Center. Oh, not every, every area, Cal. Only all the areas in this small section of the map. <laughs> It took quite a long time, actually. I think I... Went in here around nine? Like, this entire mountain area... ...was quite a... quite a chore to still, like, complete. Punching Glove. An item to be held by a Pokemon. This protective glove boosts the power of the holder's punching move and prevents direct contacts with targets. Oh, that's actually kind of dope. Um, does this guy have new uh, sandwiches for to teach me? No. Is that... Ooh, that's a second rookie helmet already. Yo, I need to put rookie helmet on this guy, on Lizio. That seems like a fucking good idea. If I can find it. Oh, here they are. Turns with one HP, got the boss. Nice. GG, Kel. GG. Uh, so, yeah. Let me actually explain why I want this Pokemon to have Rocky Helmets specifically, right? Oh. Mudsdale. Spoinkies. Everything. Wrong button. Okay, so Lizio, aka Belly Bolt. Belly Bolt's probably one of the more interesting Pokemons that I've seen so far with new abilities. So Belly Bolt is an electric type Pokemon with the ability Electromorphosis. 
Every single time it gets hit, the next electric type move the Pokemon uses get boosted, right? This does more damage. So what I want to do with this Pokemon is like, uh, I want to switch him in, let him take a hit, and then with uh, the Rocky Helmet on, the enemy will take a bit of damage, the opponent's Pokemon. And then use Volt Switch to switch out, deal extra damage, and then get back into a different Pokemon. Which, uh, if you ask me, is just kind of fire. Oh, hi, little... Bitch baby. Okay, so this area is where the Grieve Arts actually spawned for the first time. Good to know. Psybeam. Steel Terra, nice. Yo, I'm fucking happy that we finally have uh, the high jump, though. Can now reach even more places than before. Not that much more, but it's still more than before. But let's go see what's uh, down here, right? Where this leads us to. Save line. Donald Trump hiding from his enemies again. Dark Poles. Okay, this leads here. Which is not necessarily interesting to me. It's almost 12 again, yo. Why does time have to go so fast? Time always goes fast when you're having fun. Let's see, we haven't actually... Let's go here to Kaskarafa. It's a new city we can explore a little bit. Let's then do that gym leader. I think that's the last thing we're doing for tonight. After I go look at that raid up top. Did I fight you already? Yeah, good. Okay, I couldn't go higher up yet because it was too high. Maybe with the high jump, now from the highest point I can reach it. No, it still looks like it's a bit too fucking high, yo! Crap baskets. Well. Uh, well, at least I don't have to do anything tomorrow, except uh, work on the first evolution of Spritito. I already drew Spritito today, he's finished. We just need to get the other ones done as well. A regular rock rough.
Okay, let's run around town and see what we can find. Ooh, this is an elevator. Fire? Uh, that is empty, that is useless. New bags. I like my bag though. Super sad that there are, that you can't like edit your fucking outfits though. In a fun way at least. Also, this is the water type gym. I don't think it's a good idea to actually bring Zilla along in this one. Gotta find all the pikes in every area. It will definitely unlock something. I watched someone uh, stream today, someone stream today, so I kind of know what it unlocks. But I don't want to spoil it yet. <laughs> Can I get in this shop again? Sergio style! Oh yeah, gloves. And stupid helmets. Smart strike. Rough and tough. Crew socks. Printed ties. Dress shoes. Ugh. Try first gloves. These are kind of cool. Sport backpack. No. Sporty cap. Guys, come on. <laughs> Fedora. Uh, no, there's nothing new in there. Gotta wait until... Beat the gym, then there will be something new in. I hope I can actually get quick or start buying. Qu oh, this is the first time that my game actually crashes. <clears throat> yeah, that's part of the bad performance. That's why we keep auto save on. Unless you're shiny hunting, then you probably don't want to keep it on. A 
Let's see where uh, we left off. What we need to re-grab. Not that much. Just some of the new shit that we bought. Didn't even grab this one before, I think. Pokeballs plus three. Honestly, I'm not even gonna rebuy everything. It's fine this way. I think I only rebought like uh, different gloves or something. Muscle band. Oh. Wait, this girl has some. Oh, you can check how friendly your Pokémon are with you, with this girl. Is it true that Wooper and Palladia are venomous? I have a blue Wooper. I call it another region. Wanna train Palladium Wooper to get this? Not right now, at least. A Wooper for Wooper. Actually, didn't know there were uh, NPC traits in this game. here again. <laughs> Okay, um... Can learn Bulldoze. 
Swift is not really great. Mutschult. Mutschult is not too bad, I guess. Okay, there's not a better move to teach my buddy there. But it's fine. It's time to go kick some gym ass. Bolton Veluza, I'm late, I'm late. Ah, Kofu, wait! I got away. How am I supposed to return this to him now? Final act again of Slay. Time to die. No, time to win, Kelly. We're, you're gonna win. Hey, you're, you're here as a gym challenger, right? Yep. I knew it. Of course you are. The big man that just left is Kofu, leader of the Kaskarafa gym. He's a bit of a childlike side to him, and today he's run off to the market without his wallet. He'll be in big trouble without it. That's where you come in, kind gym challenger. Could you please take Kofu's wallet to him? Sure. Oh, you're too kind. I'd give you a gym badge right now if you could. Here's his wallet. I'm counting on you. No, I'm not, but you got this. Of course I got this. This can be your gym test, if you do this for me, you pass. Kofu's headed to Proto Marinada. It's on the other side of the desert to the west. Be careful though, there are many dangerous Pokemon in the desert. Oh, we have to go through the desert? Oh, midnight just hit apparently. Didn't know the elevator was here. <sighs> it's kind of bad that he's sending me, that they're sending me into a desert, especially since I want to now explore the entire desert. Oh well. Only level 20. Color me disappointed. Yard, we also dig.
20 years for this. Kecnia needles. Oh, Stone Journer. There's another trainer. Dolphin. No, oh, that's not so good. Ooh, Larvastea as well. Gonna lie, the desert has some cool Pokemon! Oh, I'll find a boss with 13 HP. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound too amazing. That's the end for sure. Here we go again. Boom, 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 boom. Something in my room. Damn. That much, eh? Good thing I got my um, heater on right now. Ooh, Meryl. Poison. Water and fairy. Poison, water, and fairy. Almighty, I guess, right? Just hit it with a steel hammer. Oh, fuck, I didn't want to do that. Bad team. Gigaton Hammer! Play rough. Not very effective. Start to rain. Cringe. Brutal swing. La 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 whoop. What? 
Oh, cricket doom. <laughs> I think I'm catching this Meryl. Whether I need it or not. Poison Terror Shards, Candies. <laughs> Did I do it correctly, Kel? <laughs> Wait. Damn it. Schwung, stop wearing yourself out. I hope I had a nice Pokemon battle. I got some time. Shells. Okay. Why are there so many water type trainers in the desert? Aren't there supposed to be ground type trainers in the desert? To survive. <laughs> Fuck survival. <laughs> No, no cool stack? What the fuck is that? Oh, that's you. You're drowned! You're dead! Or not. Apparently you're uh, very uh, high physical defense. Thankfully you're dumb as shit. I think we're gonna swap Schlung out for something else, because he is, uh, he's really disappointing. Different water type. I like our schlong, but... He's not keeping up with the rest. Uh, let's see... Box 4... I mean, so far we have been doing fairly well. Let me move you, you, and you go into this box. We're swapping you out. And this Frinzen is going to swap out as well. Oh. This Frinzen might actually not listen to me because he's 35. 
But, you know, we'll see. Yay, normal ass dolphin. Yay for the normal ass dolphin. Change it while I'm in the box. No, out the box. Aus! Aus the box! Okay, let me have a look at your uh, moves. So I do like Aqua Jet. That's a very good offensive move. Over Supersonic, 100%. Fuck that shit. Okay, these are all the TMs you can learn. And they're not really great from what I can tell. You need more physical moves. Oh. No, for now this is okay. Okay, we just fought you. Uh huh. Okay, let's see if this uh, dolphin actually wants to listen to us, though. Because it is level 30, fucking 5. So much sand! What do you think happens when I get sand in my shoes? I don't know, you're gonna scream like a little bitch? I'm sure. Double hit, bitch. Vice grip. Roots. What is Finizer's um uh, ability anyways? Waterville. Pokemon's Waterville prevents it from getting being burned. That's not bad. Overgrow, own tempo, sand rush, flash fire. Another trainer. What the fuck is this thing? Frisk. Esparath. It's way too high level for me, actually. Oh, do I actually fight this? I don't think that's a good idea. Guilty. It looks so interesting, though. Electromophosis. Hurt by the Rocky Helmet. Uh, 
press. Hey, Sandy Guest uh, version. Well, version. Oh, I can't climb this. I thought I could. I've got a guitar, and I got a soul. It's all I need to make you more. Claudia, the musician, a dearling. Fucking great, yo. Is that uh, Seppi uh, saying he's out? Let's throw in a haze because I'm a bitch like that. Oh wait, haze is not what I thought it was. It's called kill, Yordi, not haze. Okay, Finison is gonna get killed. Good job, Yordi. Oh, no, we're fine. Just two hits. Just two hits, Yordi. Your Pete, I was out for a sec. After you said Baka, yadi yadi does him. I said, uh, does that mean you're heading out, Sep? You're gonna go to bed? That you said explanation mark Baka. Hell no. Okay, good. Wiggly tough. Wiggly, wiggly tough. Puff, puff, wiggly tough. Ha, suck it, wiggly tough. Critical hit. Use this charm, bitch. How dare you trying to charm my dead doggo? say at least this thing we can kill, but not in one hit at least if he fucking lo oh, okay, we're fine. Never mind, said nothing. I was bitching too much. Uh, Shroomish. Wrong button. Mushrooms! Lava Plume!
bitch, stop spinning at me. Shroomish disappeared somewhere. I don't know if I like this desert area. This one is worse than the previous area we did. Such a wide open area and I need to look in every single... F I thought for a second I saw a shiny, but it wasn't. <sighs> Fampy, piss off! Oh, I'd use Endure, that's even worse. I couldn't even insta-kill it, but it fails. Good. What is you? You have the answer. Ask the kids. I don't remember this little brat's... Okay, yeah. Great. Um... Guess it's Zillin's time to shine again. Oh yeah, it was a grass type. Wow, they are not hitting me a lot with Bullet Seed. Except for the Raid guy, that one hit me like, what, five or four times? Or the Cordio. I'll stay in. Don't know what form it is. This is the Fairy one, right? Looks like, nah, I don't remember. It's pink, so it's probably fairy, right? Ah, the folly of youth. There's so many fucking items laying around in this fucking desert. There was a weird Pokemon there. There was a, there was a weird Pokemon. There was a weird Pokemon. UK Doc. UK Mr. Scientist guy. Grimer. You should be able to handle that, right? Gets fucking slapped. Of course, I missed the five percent. <laughs> Minimize. Oh, this is gonna go bad. He's still low level though, so if it comes to the point that I can actually no longer hit him... We'll swap in to... Um, still gotta take off my makeup. <laughs> um, I, I tell, just go to bed with your makeup. It's fine. Nobody will notice. You. Oh, I got poisoned as well. You gotta be fucking kidding me, game. Listen, this Grimer better die in one hit from my level 43 uh, 
not very effective attack. Okay, good. I saw a weird Pokemon, I swear. I'll tell you more in a bit. How about you just shut the fuck up? Hmm. Okay, so you get like a auto heal, but it doesn't heal the status effects. That's cringe. We can go and try and fight the Dolphin, by the way. The... Not the Dolphin, the Paradox... Past evolution thing guy. It's only like four steps ahead of where we're supposed to be. It shouldn't be too much. I guess. It would save my ass from having to return here again. I think we're gonna take that thing on, yo. Like, what's the worst thing that can happen? Uh, we lose all our Pokémon. Ah, yay! <sighs> Didn't know you were such a scaredy cat, Yordi. So we need to go this way for the quest, and we still have this entire area to look through. Yeah, fuck it, we're gonna go take that thing on. While we explore the rest of this area. YOLO! Well, uh, just to put the blame on uh, someone else. <laughs> it might actually be a little bit fun if we take something on um, higher level. Ooh, Dratini! Like, the last thing, the last battle that we did, our highest, yeah, the last Titan quest was 28. Our strongest Pokemon that should, are technically kind of super effective against them are 43. And if I had to guess, this is probably around level 40-ish, which all my Pokemon are. Don't think we have to worry too much. Like, unless it throws some weird-ass attack at us that I did not anticipate, like a Fire Blast or... Um... <sighs> Fucking level 55. <laughs> Uh, there's that uh, researcher guy. Look how big he is. I am gonna explore the, the rest of the area first though, before I actually go and encounter it. So that we can just leave as soon as we like... Uh, Tested it. I used to cycle them. Boom. 
Do you know Kofu? We'll see about that once we're done with the dumbass. Alucha! Attack. Fringe. Now you know how strong I am. Yeah, not very strong. Such a sassy bitch when I talk to the NPCs in my head. That fuck. That's where the entrance is at. Ring. Golly Kigun! I'm gonna use Lizio for this one. They made joining raids in this game a lot easier as well, by the way. Yeah, sure, Yordi just goes ahead and chokes for a bit. Damn. <clears throat> Can we not murder Yordi? Pretty please? We're slowly filling up our Pokedex. Slowly, but steady. The most annoying thing is gonna come when I need to figure out a way to get all the legendary Pokemon. Or the... I mean the version exclusive ones. I do have like a second game, but I don't have a second Switch. <laughs> so that is kinda... How do I put that? Awkward.
I'm gonna see if I can, like, uh, put my save data on either my little sister or my, uh... Mom's, or my, like, my profile on both. Another, uh... What's it called? Another Switch? While not having to lose my my profile on this Switch. And then use, uh... Died again, had so much money, rip. No more today, aw. You did well, Kel. You got very close. Fuck was I saying again before my brain said to uh, respond to Kelly now? Something something switch can I have use both at the same time for So that I can trade between Beats it with one of the peeps, but now I struggle. Uh, switch mom's prof, my profile to my mom's switch, and then see if I can trade uh, between using both my switches or my profile twice, same time. I hope it, I hope I can, but otherwise I have to wait. I'll probably have to beat the game on the other... I'll have to beat the game and get the Pokémon on the other game first anyways. And otherwise I... Otherwise I gotta wait until I can use, like, uh, Pokéhex to uh, swap them over. Or, uh, until uh, Pokébank is released. But Pokébank is gonna take until, like, 2023. Which is, uh... Way too far away. So I'm gonna have to see until, uh... Gonna have to wait. Doom! Fight! Hello, you're this Professor Seda. Great Tusk is a Pokémon that came from the great creator of Paldea. I ask you, do... Uh, ask that you do whatever is needed to subdue it for me. With all due caution, of course. Great Tusk, the Quaking Earth Titan. Let's start with the Aqua Jet. Holy shit, this thing is tough. Brick Break, don't kill. It's actually one shot. I might be a little bit too low level for this one. We did say uh, YOLO, remember? Okay, let's see... Uh, if... Uh, Jordaro can do anything here. Okay, yeah, we're fine. Critical hit. Oh, we actually didn't hit the point where it goes to heal up. Yeah, that's super crazy. It fucking disappeared? How the heck does it do that? Yeah, that is the cute cat Pokemon. Well, that's our third death, guys. <laughs> uh, that wasn't... Damn, where is... Uh, 14, that wasn't really part of the plan. So, who are we going to take next? We don't necessarily need a water type anymore. The dolphin. 
No, none of yours, Sep. You know what? We'll take uh, Varu- No, Varum is already... Loxy. Bug, Dark, plus Fighting. The Tender Mouse. I already have Grass. Shuttles, what the fuck are you doing here? I think we're taking Mastiff with us. We don't- Well, we do have a Dark type, but... Ooh, I also need to go to the toilet. I've been needing to go to the toilet for a while now. And I've just decided not to go to the toilet. Okay, give me a sec, guys. Siller! Begging, begging you. Go ready for bed. Back after. Take your time. Danger, Popper. Who do you? Oh, you mischief. I. That's cool. I was gonna say shallows, but then I remember the rule. <laughs> yeah, the rule. Pause. Do the scroll. Danger. But fur. Well, barely fit. Okay, let's go. Did I uh, heal up? Yeah. Yeah, fairy metal fire. Grass and Ghost. And Psychic, by the way, as well. These are all the types. We got Electric. We got Fire Steel. We got your... Ghost Rock. Wait, is that... Oh, it's a Terror type, sorry. Ghost. Um, grass Dark. Fire Psychic. And then Dark type. Of characters. You fucking remembered that. <laughs> Smart. Titan Great Tusk began eating something. Yordi, looks like you found yourself Titan. Wait, that's a Quaking Earth Titan? The Quaking Earth, Earth Titan? Is, is that thing even a Pokemon? Must be trying to get pumped up with that little snack. Could use Dragon and Bug. Yeah, Bug is never really a great, uh, a very great uh, typing, though. And Dragon is the Pseudo Legendary in this game. 
So we're gonna have to wait at least until uh, we can find that Pseudo Legendary. Zillar, I am doing A-OK. -okay. How are you today, buddy? Two hits of Flower Trick should kill. Okay, apparently not. He's gotten even stronger. Rapid Spin. Scovillian. Speed increased. Glad to hear you're okay. Speed harshly fell. Ha! <laughs> Fucking smart ass game. Lower its speed. He raised its speed by one stage and you lower it by two. Okay, three hits. Brick break. Thankfully, we're faster. That was a lot of damage. That guy almost instantly killed my ass. Cool! Scary! Jesus Christ! Titan Great Tusk. Danger Popper wants to learn to move bite, sure. Over Lick, because Lick is trash. Uh, Roar is trash. Yes, nice going, little buddy. Quit calling me little, you bitch. What was... What even was that thing, though? Kind of feel like maybe I've seen it before somewhere. <laughs> anyway, I bet if we head inside here, we'll find more of that Herbra Mystica I was eating. Let's give the place a uh, once-over before that thing decides to come back. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Why the fuck is there a... <laughs> Yes, I found it. Here's our little herb. The sour mystica herb. The shape, the sheen, it looks like it's... It'll taste horrible, which means it's got to be good for you. Let's see, what does the book have to say? Okay, Sour Herba Mystica is choke full of nutrition and is great for boosting your overall health. It says here it works wonders whether you're tired physically or mentally. Perks you right up. No time to waste. Let's get some food going. Sorry for the wait. Here's a super healthy sandwich that'll perk you right up once you eat it. Plus token of my friendship, the badge. should probably go check what's inside the caves as well. Haven't done that yet. Would you look at that? Seems like someone's got a proper appetite now.
Coridon will now be able to collect. What about climbing? What the fuck do I have? Never mind. Seems like that fellow is also slowly regaining its original strength. Still, doesn't look like it's anywhere close to returning to its battle form. Ah, Seems healthy enough physically. Maybe it's got some kind of mental block that's preventing it from returning to its true form. Mental block? I've read about it in books before. A mental scar, like psychological trauma, you know? I think that's what you call it. Maybe it had a terrifying experience in battle, so now it's scared to battle at all. Well, don't worry. I'm sure both that brute and Mabostiff will make a full recovery eventually. So how do you feel, Mabostiff? How is that Herba Mystica working? Whoa, no pressure. Like, it's fair to expect every kind of Herba Mystica to have some huge effect, right? And it's not like the effect has to be immediate either. A roof? Hey, it's okay, don't worry. Gary and I are gonna make sure you're right as rain. We've got one more herb to go, and I bet it's the best of them all. It's it's just gotta be. Alright, Yordi. Next stop on our little herb hunt should be the last. But we can't lose steam until we're done. Let's keep the momentum. Here. We go. Roto to to to. Hello, Umbjordi, this is Sada. I detected that Coridon has regained more of its original power. After it jumps into the air, you should try to press B to, again. It should glide now. You must continue helping Coridon recover. I can't say it's completely useless. Like, since we have this high jump, it's just not very fast. Apparently. I can't see its level. Do I want to risk it talking to it and getting my ass whooped? Yeah, let's not. At least not yet. <sighs> let's go back in the cave and see if there's anything fun to get. Oh, I can't go back into the caves yet. Good to know, good to know. What was I doing again before uh, I got distracted by uh, boss fight? Oh yeah, we need to go here. Apparently I'd still miss the TM. Uh, wrong button. Ooh, Chensi? Where? Oh, 18. Shit. Not gonna lie, I want this game. So, uh, Zillar, not gonna lie, am I allowed to say, uh, then get it? <laughs> Just get it, bruh. Or uh, is that a little bit too heartless of me? Not possible at the moment, I say. That is very sad and annoying. Are you gonna kick my ass? Bruh. 
rough lit. I have a lot of Christmas presents to still get, plus I need a new phone. I see, I see! Weather ball. Wondering if that's worth it. I mean, it's powerful, more powerful than water gun. I got the green, and I got... Now we're coming back here another time. Hey, Jirafric is here as well. Hi, uh, Taros fam. How many battles do I need for you? Four, okay. Shouldn't be too much. Grimer. Spookies. Moonstone. See what's on top of the thingamajig. I see you here, stinky. Give me that coin. Hyper beam. Can I jump off? I can, nice. Home mint. Here is the X. So I uh, was watching Blaine's stream today, and his uh, Cordon flew way faster and. Uh, or, well, glided way faster. So I have a feeling... Um, glides and climb will come better, come better. Ooh, chipped pots for Sinistia. Poison jam. The salt fest, also nice. Boat! Bobo's favorite thing, a boat. I really wanted to climb, though. I didn't want glides. Fucking dipshits. When night falls...
Bolton Velusa, where, where in the world? Where in the world is my wallet? Without my wallet, I won't be able to get today's hot item. It'll get bought up by someone else. Sniffle. Don't worry, old man Kofu. I'll run and look for it right now. What do you want? Old man Kofu is in the middle of some super duper important ingredient biting. If you're thinking about trying to interrupt him, then I... His best apprentice will stop you. So, do you have something super important to say to us busy folk, or what? Super important, eh? We'll see about that. Maybe battle will shut your mouth. Sap, good night, my dude. Is that the one and only? You were challenged by a gym trainer, Hugo. Fuck your float, soul. Critical hit. Clouncher. And fluff your clouncher as well. Shucks, I let old man Kofu down. Dang it, the backfired. Now my wallet's empty too. Hey, yeah, step right up and tell me what's all the ruckus about over here. Uh, old man Kofu, seems this kid got something to say to you. What's that now? A customer here for little old walletless, moneyless me? What can I do for you? Have your wallet. Fulton Veluza, my wallet. Say what now? My lobby staffer sent you out here to bring it to me. <laughs> That's a huge help. Thanks for coming all this way. I guess I should apologize for my little apprentice too. Hope he didn't bother you too much. There's something here at Proto Marinda auction that we really want to get our hands on. So as you're as you can imagine, we were both a bit worked up to find I'd forgotten my wallet. Ladies and gents, you won't want to miss this. Here comes today's last item. <laughs> Feast your eyes on the main event. I have here the legendary Wakame Seaweed of the Hoenn region. Do I have any takers? Fault and Veluza. Don't even have to touch it. I can see it's got the springy texture of seaweed choking full of nutrition. Just look at it. it. Looks how it catches the eye and shines so brilliantly. Oh, and that rich, fresh aroma of something plucked straight out of the ocean. I need to get some of that. Now listen, kid. If you want to challenge me at the Carafe Gym, you're gonna need some smarts. And this is the perfect place to test you. Get the winning bid on the seaweed for this old man. Okay. Ah, you already know I'm ins and outs of auctions at such a young age. Here you go. Here you are, fighting funds for the auction. Be smart with it, and win this old man that seaweed. Jesus, 50k? Gym test. Make the winning bid at the auction. Once legendary Wakama seaweed would start at 10k. Twenty. Thirty. Thirty-five! What a big spender. What in the world? Sold for thirty-five thousand to the little gentleman over here. Oh, it's amazing. You put those grown-up bidders to shame with your bidding skills. Thank you for winning that seaweed for this old man. Be taking it now, if you don't mind. The seaweed's great catch. I'll be feeling low at the seabed. Be feeling low at seabed if I'd failed to get my hands on it. If there's any of that money I gave you left, feel free to keep it as a tip. You can even use it to try your hands at the auction again if you like. 
Alrighty. I'm gonna head on back to the Kafra's gym now. Old man Kofu's gonna prepare a real good battle for you. See you there. Bastard is even uh, apologizing himself. Himself? Question? Explanation mark? The guy... Pokedex got updated. Calciums, calciums, what is this? Six calciums. Maybe next time. Luxury balls. Welcome. Mm -hmm. What do you have? Every which way. Well, lots of berries at a bargaining price. <laughs> Gotta have some of that chili sauce. Some of the basil. Green pepper bells, yellow bell peppers. This is a nice place, though. Nice, chill beach home. <laughs> we lost quite a lot of Pokémon today. Think about it. Okay. Where are these so-called chances? Well, fuck him. Got a lot of exploring to do soon again. Oh, this is a watchtower. Oh, that's where the Pokemon League is at. Good to know. I forgot something in this area. I forgot to grab all the things in this area, actually.
What was this Pokemon again? Oh, this wasn't a Pokemon, this was uh, a bell. Will you pill out the state? Yeah. After the game crashed. Well now, Yorin. You appear to be progressing well on your gym circuit. What is this now? Is this that kid I've been hearing so much about? Can I have your outfit? It looks dope. Hey, kiddo. I hear you're like way too good for that battling, yeah? Yeah. Haha, <laughs> you got some spirit, big shot. This young lady would be Rika. She has... Okay, I can't say that out loud. That's me, Rika here, at your service. Okay, now I can see uh, a little bit, I guess. And hey, I know I'm pretty, but no need to get intimidated or anything. She is a little farcical, shall we say. But like myself, she is a member of the Elite Four. Well, and I wasn't trying to be funny. Yeah, okay. The eyes. <laughs> I can't... Like, ah, uh, never mind. She has, like, no chest. There, I said it. She has a very male... chest-like area. Okay, good to know, at least. Wasn't trying to be funny. Anyway, hmm... Tell you something, kiddo. You look fun. Like, interesting, at a glance, anyway. Naturally. He's one of our Academy's esteemed students. Oh! Haha, <laughs> yeah, that checks out. With the battles you'll face at these gyms really ratchet up the further you go. Indeed, your average trainer abandons the challenge at roughly this very point. But not you, right, kiddo? See... See you when you hit the champion assessment. You'll... You show these gyms what you've got. Best of fortunes to you. I can't turn my camera very well on the inside. Yordi, I heard you reunited Kofu with his wallet. I can't thank you enough, though this is a little irregular. Please consider your gym test passed. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Kofu, the surging chef? No other choice, bro. Let's go. We got two team members that are very well, very good against water types. <clears throat> but I'm hoping to only have to use uh, one. Scarlet and Violet, eh? Oh, there's another item in there that I forgot to pick up. Oh man, Kofu, play with us! Come on! Would be honored if you would try a new item from my restaurant menu as well. Sorry, everybody, I've got some business to take care of as a gym leader, real quick. Like, I'm keeping someone waiting if you see. Please forgive me. I need to do this first. Okay! Well, he's really liked. Hey, yes, uh, step right up. I've been waiting for him. Thanks for the help over at Proto Marinda. You did me a mighty fine job. And now that I've got the legendary seaweeds, I can make some real quality dish with it. But don't expect me to go easy on you in our battle here. Wouldn't want it any other way. At the auction, we battle with buying and selling. At my gym, we battle in more traditional sense. Moves and tactics ever changing as the rage and sea. I'ma serve you a full course of water type Pokemon. Don't try to eat him though.
Vele Veluza. Okay, how many Pokemon does he have? I feel a bit indebted to you, but don't expect me to go easy on you just because of that. Mold Breaker. Annoying. Okay, he isn't. He only has three Pokemon. He's level 29. Wug Trio. That should still be the same. But. Crabominal. Just go into discharge. Prepare the rigots for a big transformation. My Pokemon's gonna rock the boat. So what, was this a ice fighting type? Originally or just pure fighting type? I don't remember. But apparently it wasn't water. Vaulting Veluza, you're a lively one, aren't you? A little too lively, if I do say so myself. Too lively? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> loss of refreshing, loss is refreshing as the air at the morning market. I'm just like a helpless little Magikarp to you, eh? Flopping around all willy nilly. You got me good, I tell you. What a great catch you are. Just like a master fisher, you held on tight till the last second and reeled in victory. Now it's time to hand over the gym badge to you. And let's reel good photo together using a pose I've been wanting to try out for a while now. Here, bro. Nice. Clever. With four gym badges in your possession, Pokemon f off up to level 40 will be easier to catch and listen to you when you ask them to do things. Let me throw this in too as an extra special bonus. Chilling water. Alrighty, it's about time I head back to my restaurant and got prepping for the next wave. You come back to see me again now, you hear? Slept some nice butt cheeks. Oh, Yordi, hola. Caught you just as you finished up in here, huh? Nice work. That puts your four badges in now, right? Man, that's awesome. Can't believe you're halfway through your dim journey already. Your efforts are beating so much fruit, bearing so much fruit quickly. Makes me want to just challenge you to the battle right here, right now. But I'm gonna have to wait. Because I put together my team for Pokemon specifically to take on the gym leader. Dang it. When I battle you, I want to do it under the best possible conditions. Which means this time I've got to ask for a rain check. Ah, this is the worst timing ever. Sorry, Ordy. Forgive me! Forgive me! Why are you running out of the fucking gym challenge area? Why is there shallows right there in the middle?
Because she ate Pokemon. Uh, this is not the area that I want to be. Is this the so yeah, this is where the store is at. Every which way, bitch! Zillar, shall I show you what you've turned into? I evolved you today, after all. Look at this cool ass guy. Look how cool he is. Why are you walking away from me? Awesome, right? Yep. Kind of look like a heartless. Uh, I'm not gonna disagree with that. <laughs> you also kind of look like a Mega Man uh, character, but he does look kind of dope. To Delbert presents. How can I help you? Still no. Still no freaking. Oh, I can now buy at least evolution items. Deep breath, Yordi, deep breath. Hey, leftovers. That might actually be a very useful item. Utility umbrella. Mirror herb. Expensive though. This is a normal type gym, Larry. That is most likely the next step where we're heading from over here. Uh, no, actually, that's a lie. That's not the next step we're heading. The very, very next step we're heading is this motherfucker over here. The poison type. Thankfully, we have steel. We have fire psychic type as well. This one is the last one we're going to be doing. Fairy Crew. Path of Legends. Casaria Lake. Let's go to the academy real quick. How much battery do I have left? Oh, quite a lot. Let's go see how many classes I can take.
I haven't done a single exam yet, which is kind of weird. I thought that would happen sooner. I'm back, did some extra stuff for my face, took longer. Oh dang it, school? This is school, yeah. Welcome to the school area! I wish we had a school like this. In the Netherlands. It's mighty fine. Welcome to PTSD. It's not that bad. Has become champion. Do you wish to read it? Has become ta a champion. For Pokemon trainers who are out to grow stronger and wiser, there are no higher callings than becoming a champion. To reach that lofty rank, you must pass the test administered at Paldea's official Pokemon League headquarters. In Paldea, anyone, and in fact, any number of people can become a champion, regardless of factors like age. That means you can too, as long as you get got the strength and wisdom to set the leerly example for your fellow trainers. Your path to becoming a champion lies in the Pokemon gyms throughout Paldea. Once you've defeated the eight gym leaders in battle and earned their gym badges, we look forward to your knock on the Pokemon League store. What does the whole school thing do in this game? Uh, so the whole school thing, you can like... For new people that are not very good at the game and want to learn more about the game, you can take classes. Which I'm actually here for right now. Also more people to talk to apparently. Let's go talk to these people real quick. Uh, but yeah, you can take their classes, which gives information and such. I don't want to go anywhere, bitch. Uh, and you can do exams and you get free stuff from it. Ah, hello, hello. Have you gotten used to things here at the Academy already? Yeah. Great, glad to see you're having fun. Oh, have you been using the Pokedex app? I, uh, <laughs> I'm the one who made it, you know. School would be better with Pokemon Truth. Every time someone's using the app catches a Pokemon, that data gets sent to me. It really, it's really helping me with my Pokemon research. So be sure to catch any new Pokemon you find and work on filling your Pokedex. Your first goal, let's aim for 30. Register 30 Pokemon in your app. Let me know once you're done. I already, I'm already done. You've already registered 30 species Pokemon? Whoa, so you caught this kind of Pokemon and this one? All this data, this is the best. Sorry about that, got a little excited there. But I get the feeling you're going to be great in helping my Pokemon research. Here, take these. Consider it my way of saying thanks. <gasps> Fucking false swipe TM! I even did that shit! <laughs> You sure are good at catching Pokemon, aren't you, Jordy? For your next goal, let's aim for 100 species. We got that one done already, too. Whoa, little Pokemon, big Pokemon. Whoa, you even have data on Pokemon of specific size. So much data, so much to analyze. Twenty fucking Ultra Balls. Fucking hell, yeah. Next one is 200. Next one is 200, and that's like, uh... How many away? Uh, just about 90. Yeah, he's wearing flip-flops. Oh, hello, Master Yordi. How's your treasure hunt coming along? Having all sorts of fun adventures, I hope? Yeah, it's been great. Wonderful, I'm glad to hear it. Do keep in mind that the treasure hunt has no set course or criteria you must follow. Simply go where your heart takes you and you shall do splendidly. Speaking of such pursuits, there has been something of on my mind of late. 
If I could ask for your expertise on the matter, I would be most grateful. You see, I recently heard of a word whose meaning escapes me. I believe it has to be some sort of slang. Tell me, what does Choey Chuggy mean? Ch chuggy? I don't know. Yeah, he calls me Master for some reason, and everyone else is Miss or Mister. Okay, I don't know what this... if there's a right answer for this. I'm curious if there's a right answer for this. Never heard of this word either. I think I understand. For both speaker and recipient, it's not a pleasant word, I take it. The words used by young people these days are quite often beyond my comprehension. But when I learn the meaning behind the words, I find that I feel that much closer to my students. I am most grateful to you for your help on that front. Steals the Pokémon. Why is this fucking Swabble still here? Oh, we can do another chat with uh, Swatna. No, I didn't, that I didn't forgot what it's called. How kind of you to stop by. I must say, I'm pleased to see you on grounds again. Travel and adventure certainly have their place, but it does one good to attend class. Well, no. Speaking of which, is there something I would very much like to ask you? I understand you have joined a variety of class during your time here at the Academy, but if I may ask, which of your f of our faculty members has made the most favorable impression on you? Jacques. He's fun. It's braiding my hair, but you got closer to Caffel. What? He's a fine teacher, a most earnest and hardworking fellow. We are truly blessed to have so many wonderful teachers and staff members at the Academy. I firmly believe that our faculty is second to none in their commitment to the students' go ongoing education and well-being. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts, Master Yordi. Let's just talk to him again in case we have another one. Oh, no, we're done here. Shallows, haha. <laughs> Damn, why is it so hard to remember uh, Pokemon names sometimes? I got out the big guns, my weighted blanket, nice. Time to talk to the cute nurse. Hey there, come in. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. I wish I had a weighted blanket or duvet. What brings you here today? I don't see anything super wrong with you or your Pokémon. Wait, this is your first time here, isn't it? Yes. Oh, so I guess you transferred in recently. You must be Yori, right? Everybody's been talking about you. I've heard of... I heard all kinds of rumors. Apparently you fell off a cliff right after enrollment in the Academy. And even picked a fight with Team Star. Oh yeah, you started your treasure hunt thing, right? Come tell me about anything super interesting you find out there in your adventures. I'm kinda bored just sitting in here all day, you know? I don't have any class to teach. And students only come here to skip class. So yeah, drop by if you can. Deal? Deal. I like her. Hey there, come in. Everyone's welcome to nurse office. Hmm, Yordi, have you toughened up a bit? Yes. Oh, so you know know your tough stuff, huh? Haha. <laughs> but seriously, you look a bit different. I bet it's because of all the crazy experience you're having on your treasure hunt. You need to tell me all about what you've been up to. There seems to be an interesting story behind Team Star so far. It's not like your typical bad team want to destroy the world uh, team of evildoers. 
I sure am jealous of you kids. You get to try out new things every single day. Me, on the other hand. Aw, oh, poor Miriam. Actually wants to become a teacher. I'm just a skirt school nurse, you know. Can't teach classes or anything like that. Couldn't pass the certification exam to become an actual health teacher. Aw. So, it took so many times, but no luck. So here I am, stuck forever in the nurse's office. Oh, uh, sorry. I guess this isn't a very fun thing to talk about. But you're just such a good listener. I find myself telling you all kinds of stuff. I hope you'll still come to see me, even if I talk your ears off. I think Miriam deserves a drawing soon. She's cute. I like her. Where is she? Miriam Sensei! Oh, hey, Yordi. Sorry, were you looking for me? I've been away from nurse offs lately. Did you need something from me? Yes. Are your Pokemon hurt? Just a sec. Here you go. A little first aid. You must really be having an adventure out there, judging from those scrapes and cuts. Huh? Oh yeah, I guess it's pretty unusual for me to be out of the nurse office like this. Uh, well, I'm actually doing a bit of studying. Thought I'd try my best at a health teacher certification exam one more time. You can do it! Just so you know, it's totally not because I'm inspired by a certain somebody working hard at their treasure hunt, okay? I feel a little bit weird. We look like a 10-year-old kid, but there's... With every female character, there's like this... <laughs> The same with, like, our rifle character, right? She's, like, what, five years older or something? Well, maybe a... just a little bit. Uh, thanks, yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh, my break time's almost over. I know you'll be cheering me on, Yordi. Yeah, there just feels a little bit weird. We're way... we're, like, so young and they're, like, way too dependent on my young ass. Oh well. Okay, let's uh, do uh, see what we can do here. The game's been very odd so far. Feels like fan-made game rating ways. You know what? You're not wrong, Kel. You're not wrong. Let's go to biology. I really feel they should have at least, like, when when they give us, like, this big Oni, Onisa, Onesan uh, rival, right? I feel like we should have been a little bit, like, older-ish character. And especially with the outfits, it's just... I don't know. I'm in bed with my personal Heather. Nice. Hello, hello. I hope everyone's ready to learn some new things today. See, I seem to remember teaching you all about importance of eggs in our last class together. On that note, is everyone using their Pokedex? It registers Pokemon born from eggs as well as those encountered via other methods, so don't you worry about it. And, uh, <laughs> just so you know, I'm the one who developed the Pokedex app. Yeah, but, like, the, the characters that fall outside of the Academy that are not students, right? Those are actually kind of... they're fairly well designed. If you ask me. Yeah, compared to the other characters. <laughs> so, from what I'm hearing from you two, the characters should have been older. Yeah, the main character should have been older, like... 
Now, I still feel that Sword and Shield and Black and White, I think, like, that age is, like, around 14, but I think we need to be a little bit, like, 16-ish. That's just... That's just the feeling that I get, especially because... Well, that should have been a thing, like, way earlier, because we throw your character in, like, world-saving events, right? When a 10-year-old is not gonna save a fucking world with their Pokémon, but... I wouldn't do that anymore, the characters are looking younger and younger. The characters in Black and White are older than the other characters in the franchise. Yeah, I haven't played Black and White, personally. Uh, blah blah blah, develop Pokedex. It was way before I started teaching here at the Academy, though. Back then, I was a researcher. In fact, Director Cavill wasn't working in education at the time, either. He was researching alongside me at the same facility. We got to research Pokémon together day in and day out. Those sure were fun times. I'd get old that old time, though. Huh. Wait a second, how did I get onto this again? Pretty sure I was talking about the Pokedex. Anyway, today I'd like to teach you about catching Pokémon. As you all know, a great way to catch a Pokémon more easily is to first lower its HP. We already know that, we don't have to. But there's another way to up your chances, successful catch, status condition. Okay, I have played Black and White 2, actually. But on the Poke MMO uh, thing. Uh, but I really like the. Or I'm not saying the games are bad. And I am saying that the story is way better than most of the. Uh, Pokemon games, but I just do not really. Specific catching Pokeballs. I don't need to write that down. Earning Gym Badge. Oh, Gym Badge as well. Uh, Gym Badges. Status and type Pokeball. Easier catching. I'm gonna write it down anyways. I said I wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, I know that black and white is your favorite. Please do come show me your Pokedexes once they start to fill, to fill up. Another day, another enjoyable class. Oh yeah, don't forget, our next class will be a test. Off. I saw N, an N Pulse player today. I feel like a lot of people really like Black and White and Black and White 2 purely because of N. Biology midterm. Sure, let's do that one. A, a lot of people are very, very, really enjoy, are like, so... And I can kind of see it because it's such a unique character and in a unique setting. It's just kind of a shame that you are not N as the character, right? <laughs> hello, hello everyone, today is our midterm exam. It sure feels good to fill in all those empty spaces on Lancer Sheets, doesn't it? Take your time and contemplate each question carefully. Uh, what button should you use to let out your Pokemon out of its ball? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, R? Yeah, it's A. Combine one letter and one number below to correctly say when and where eggs are found. In your basket, A2. Which of the following is an effective way to warm up eggs? B. Walking around. Yeah. <laughs> I miss that I lost so many of my copies of Pokemon games as well. What will not make Pokemon easier to catch, giving them a berry? What will make it easier to catch Pokemon of, a higher le of higher and higher levels? Gym badges. This question won't affect your grade. How do you like the Pokedex? Is it easy to use? I'd be happy to hear Spinion. It's easy to use. Yeah, you see his development throughout the game and then at the end learn about his past. Aww. Flow used an emulator for it. Could be an option. Sit on them. 
Oh. <laughs> Could be Kelly. They're just very expensive now and hard to come by. Uh, those are leak points. You can buy things from it. Right, everyone. Time's up. I'll grade these right away. I hope you're all looking forward to seeing how you did. I use emulators as well. But I tend to try and get uh, original console and original things. Wait, which one? I missed an answer? It's passing score, congratulations. Wait, giving them a berry works? That must be the only one that I missed out on. Can I retake that? Biology? Shit, that's super cringe. That's super cringe. I haven't seen a berry yet. I should have read it better. I thought I knew everything. Pokemon Go Trash! Hello everyone, let's have a fun class today. Tell me, do you all enjoy fortune telling, horoscopes and all the like? I think it feels great to read your horoscope and see that it says good luck is coming your way. So today I'd like to teach you all math while focusing on the topic of luck. Perhaps you've all seen the following phrase crop up during Pokemon battles before. A critical hit! When a Pokemon's attack lands a critical hit, the damage it deals is increased by half. Okay, I need to write that down, actually, because I, I never knew the exact. Um, crit is increased damage by half. In other words, it does one and a half times as much damage as it normally would. It is truly luck that determines whether your Pokémon lands a critical hit or has one landed on it. This can cause a great upset in battle. Does anyone know what percent percent chance a Pokémon has to land a critical hit? I say 12%. Oh my, that might cause a bit too critical of a situation, Yordi. That was wrong. The chance of landing is 1 in 24, which is figuratively 4%. 4... Percent. Uh, where's the percent? Which is 1 in... 24. See, I'm now gonna need to write everything out. Out. P. The odds are more favorable for certain moves, though. Why? Moves such as Stone Edge and Shadow Claw have about 12% chance. Oh, okay. So the 12% was on moves like Stone Edge. 12% for favorable moves. You can also use a move called Focus Energy or an item called as Dire Hits. Both raise the critical hit ratio by two stages. That's a 50% chance to land critical hits. Uh, 50% Dire Hits or Focus Energy. It feels great to land a critical hit, but perhaps not so great to be struck by one. There's a surprising amount of mathematical probabilities hidden in Pokemon battles, you know? See, these are the kind of things that you probably wouldn't realize if you just play Pokemon casually. Like the exact chances, for example. If you're able to do calculations that swing luck in your favor, it may open the door for more strategic choices during battle. 
Which they decided to put in so they can teach you about it, apparently. So that is actually kind of, I find that personally kind of fun. Okay, we need to get a A plus on the next, on this uh, math test. I, uh, I do not appreciate the fact that uh, we failed the first time around. On getting uh, everything. I should have checked the other answers. Because, ah, uh, fucking berries, yo. Can't believe I failed. <laughs> Alright everyone, it's time to begin our midterm exam. I'm sure the fun experience you all had in my class will serve you well as your answer. How much damage does Water Gun do when it hits a fire type? See, double damage. How much damage does Raybrusher Leaf do if it hits a fire type? Half damage. If you spend... 11. What percentage chance does a Pokemon usually have to land the crit? About 4%. How much damage does a move deal when it lands a critical? Half as much. No, you get a Premier Ball as well, so it's 11. Every 10 uh, Pokeballs that you buy gives you uh, another one, a Premier Ball. So this, that should indeed be 11, unless I, it's a, unless the question is changed. Yeah, to that, a Pokeball is different from a Pyramir Ball. You're fucking kidding me, Yordi, why do you suck? Why do you not read? See, you were fucking right, I hate it. Why are you guys right? <laughs> nah, but it's a B plus, it's not an A plus. Dendra. They did do a big stinky, motherfuckers. <sighs> hey, another round of battle study. Oh, see, let's get right to it. Last time we learned about Terra Raid battles, did any of you have a chance to try them out? Terra Pokemon are super strong and the more difficult ones will use an even tougher tactic that you'll need to deal with. I'm talking about their Terra Shield. This is, this is purely because I'm uh, dyslectic. I'm just kidding. What happens while Pokemon has his Terra Shield up, you ask? Well... It'll take way less damage for one. Terror shield up less damage. It has big effect on morale too. Uh, morale damage. So here's a question for you. If the Pokémon you're battling puts up its Terra Shield, what should you do? Terrorize and attack it. Close your eyes and give in. Call your parents. <laughs> Regular attacks don't work well against Pokémon that have their Terra Shield up. But having a Pokémon Terrestrialize is an effective method to overcome that issue. Terrestrialized Pokémon will do more damage to shield the Pokémon, especially if it uses moves that match its Terra type. Um. Dealing enough damage to a Pokémon with its Terra Shield up can destroy the shield and break the Pokémon's stance. This means that it's important to properly time your Terrestrialization in Terra Raid battles. In conclusion, as they say, fight fire with fire and terror Pokémon with terror Pokémon. Be sure to work together with your teammates to smash through your opponent's terror shield. Okay.
<laughs> fire isn't useful against fire, lady. Sometimes fire is too big to be doused by water. So they make another fire to choke the other fire. How the fuck does that work, Zillar? Fire is not effective against fire types, she should know this. Sorry to all of you who went to the schoolyard first before finding the right room. I guess we can do our tests in the classroom at least. It might be hard to write your answers out on the field. Alright, time to put on your game faces and do battle with those test sheets. Takes oxygen, then chokes the other fire, I see. The higher a special defense, the less damage it takes from the special. Which of the following has no effect on move damage? Uh, move's name. Move's type is for double damage or half damage. <laughs> How many trainers are in a terror raid battle team? Four. What is an effective method for breaking an opponent's terror shield? Terrestrializing and attacking. What is Miss Dendra's favorite type? Fighting, bitch! Let me write that down just in case. Cheering. We're hiving it up today. You guys are doing great. You know, we should just make it a 24-hour stream tonight. We should just not stop streaming tonight. I got nothing to do tomorrow anyways. <laughs> Feels great to get a test out of the way, doesn't it? Let's take a look at your results. You must get three questions correct to pass the midterms exams and four questions to pass the fi to the final exams. Not do that and go to bed. No. Yeah, we got five out of five, bitch. Keep doing your best. Finally. I agree with- why are you guys agreeing with each other? Sleep is important, yeah, but I probably can't fall asleep anyway. Why is Psyduck there? Oh, never mind. History. You like history with uh, Mrs. Ryford? Yes. Class will begin soon, don't be tardy. In bed is also good for your body, though. True. Oh ho, I see we have some new students here with us today. Wow, she's hot. Then do the US Army Navy sleep training. What the fuck is that? My name is Ryfort. I will be the one to impart knowledge of the past to your little minds. History is a wonderful thing, truly splendid. The life of our ancestors throughout history forged the path to the present in which we live. Today we shall learn about the most mysterious location of all Paldea, the Great Creator. The lecture board is starting from the top and moving down to the bottom. Oh, she's that kind of teacher. What do you mean, that kind of teacher? Well, that sounds like that's going to be terrible for me. As you are all aware, a massive crater known as the Great Crater of Paldea exists in the heart of our region. The area inside this crater is called Area Zero, and research of its geological strata and material composition has shown that the crater is in fact over one million years old. Let's write that down. Crater... Area Zero... 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 One mil year old. Your little minds. That's what big minds always think. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> it was long believed that a certain something rested at the bottom of this mysterious crater. Certain something lived, uh, rested. 
at the bottom. Aha, perfect time to make eye contact. Young, you already answered me this. What exactly believe, was believed to rest in the depths of the Great Crater inside Area Zero? Treasure, Snorlax, treasure. AKA, treasure. This is how I would write, like, at school as well, to remember things and easily study. That's correct. You're a surprisingly clever one, aren't you? I see you did your homework prior to coming to my class. That's right. Some believe that a treasure more valuable than anything else in this world rested in the depths of the Great Crater. So much for dreams of treasure hunting, though, as a lab has been built in those very same depths. Oh, and before I forget, you would all do well to remember that the Great Crater and Area Zero are both off-limits to all but those who have official business there. Do not dare and entertain the foolish notion of gallivanting off to areas they wrote in search of riches. It is no place for children dreaming of treasure and adventure. Besides, if we were at all possible to investigate the area, I would surely be the first to do so. Oh, is that time already? I must have gotten swept up in filling your minds with knowledge. And since today's lesson, we will unravel more of history's enigmas together next time. My cat woke up from her dream opera. No other kids get attention. <laughs> of course not. Off limits area zero. Which my class suddenly took five minutes. I mean, I wish I just got you no know, went to this fucking school. Like, treasure hunting, yo, for, uh... Hey, look! Legends Arceus shit. IRL Pokemon, yo. I wish I had better teachers. Honestly, I just wish people weren't dipshits. <laughs> My teachers weren't bad. They weren't great, but they weren't bad. I was just too smart. Greetings, my little students. Whatever did you, whatever you did yesterday is no part of history. Today we will continue to unravel the marvels uh, that history has presented to us. About 2,000 years ago, this region came under the rule of the Peldanian Empire. Historical accountants described the Peldanian Emperor as being quite the dictator. This emperor... Look, more Legends Arceus references. Anyways. Also, zealously believed the legend of the treasure that rests deep within Area Zero. I must mention that the civilization of our ancestors were not as developed as ours today. Let me just write it down. Dictator of... Baldean Empire... Shit. Yep. People back then were far more likely to believe in mysterious legends, magic, and being beyond human comprehensions. In an attempt to gain the power to stand against Paldea's neighboring countries, the Emperor sent people in droves to join the hunt for the fabled treasure of Area Zero. Ah, perfect timing to make eye contact, young Yordi. Answer me this. Approximately how many years ago was it that the Paldean Empire began to rule this region? Said 2,000 years, right? 2,000 years. That is correct. The hair is twitching. You're a surprisingly clever one, aren't you? I see you're listening intently to my lecture. The answer is about 2,000 years ago. That is when the great era of exploration began. However, it is said that not a single adventurer sent out by the Emperor ever reached the depths of Area Zero. Was it pursuing journey itself that barred their way, or perhaps some unknown creature? The resounding failure of this great era of exploration almost certainly heightened the air series surrounding the 
blah blah blah. Oh, but I wouldn't give to explore Area Zero in its untouched states at that time. I suppose I can only hope for the swift invention of a time machine. Uh, nobody came very far, I guess. That's what she said, right? search anyways Kelly of course he's dead in this timeline he's like the time between uh, when we are there and when uh, this period of time is like way too large he is alive in my heart Okay, 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 Kel, sure. <laughs> Greetings, my little students. Whatever you did yesterday is now part of history. Today we will continue to unravel the marvels that history has presented to us. As you should remember from our last class, Area Zero's great era of exploration began about 2,000 years ago. This era lasts approximately 1,000 years, but not a single soul was able to venture all the way to the deepest parts. Having poured much of its human and financial resource into the exploration of Area Zero for so long, the Palladian Empire fell into decline. 200 years later, or 800 years ago... Empire and its surrounding nations unites into one entity. This was the formation of Paldea as we know it today. Ah, uh, yes. Um, I guess this very academy where you now filling your young minds with knowledge was also part established at the time. In fact, the school building, through certainly having undergone repairs throughout the years, is just as it was when it was built long ago. Ah, its very structure is a piece of history. Things of old are truly splendid. I would certainly prefer it's not to have the Pokeball portion, though, a relatively new addition. A perfect time to make eye contact, young Yordi. Let's see if you've been listening to my lecture. Tell me, approximately how many years ago was this academy of ours established? 800 years. This academy was constructed about exactly 805 years ago, to be precise. Never learn to not make eye contact. <laughs> Yoink my chair. I've learned. Listen, I've been autistic. I needed to teach myself how to make eye contact with people. That was one of the hardest things I needed to do during my lifetime. Mood. At the time, it offered state of the art facilities and uniquely innovative. Uh, curriculum as such, people used to say. Those seeking knowledge need look no further than the oranges of Paldea. Okay, probably need to write this down. Those seeking knowledge need to look no further than the oranges of Paldea. That's right, they were referring to Naraja Akademi. It is said that this is this proverb of sorts was even used outside of Paldea region. Midterm exam! Yeah. 
You gotta make eye contact, bro. Contact feels very threatening to me. Like, I don't mind making eye contact with people that I know. But I also tend to make eye contact with people that I don't know on the street. And then I feel awkward. Greetings, my little students. It's time for a midterm examination. Summon your historical knowledge from the dark recesses of your mind and answer the questions. What is the name of the geological formation in the center of Paldea? A. The Great Crater of Paldea. What was long believed to rest in the depths of Area Zero? C. Treasure. How many years ago did the Paldean Empire begin to rule this region? Approximately 2,000 years. How many years ago was this academy built? See, I knew I needed to remember that. A. 805 years ago. Those seeking knowledge need to look no further than the oranges of Paldea. Your time is up, but you're writing utensils down. The last question was a freebie. Even the least capable of you surely petted your score there. I sincerely hope you did anyway. Wait, what do you mean 4 out of 5? Did it make a misclick? What do you mean, Zillar? <laughs> what do you mean? Zillar bullshitting me! I got a 5 out of 5! That's passing score. Ms. Rayford asked us to give this reward to any student who passed the exam. Four out of five was my best. <laughs> was my bet. Oh, okay. Starting to fucking freak out here, bro. Bro? Language. Oh, that's my worst. Th I suck at language. Language. With Mr. Salvador. I need to shave my face, but I still don't have any clean water. My dear students, how are you all today? Feeling good, I hope? Je m'appelle Salvatore. My name is Salvatore. Merci beaucoup. That is, thank you very much for your attention here in my class. I am so herux or her, 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 it's fucking French, yo! I can't even or happy for this chance to re-experience my younger days with you all. Do you know what Salvatore means? It means savior. Fuck my life. It means savior. So just imagine I'm here to save you. Well, hell. From spooky new languages. Haha, <laughs> funny, no? That's right, my class will teach you about various languages from different regions. You may say good morning or hello as greetings, but people from elsewhere may say bonjour or salut. I've heard there are even popular streamers out there who smash several languages together and say hello, hello, hola, ciao, bonjour. There are many regions out there in our world, and each can have their own unique languages. Everyone run, just we tired you. Out of your class. <laughs> <clears throat> Gracia, merci, shishi, arigato, danke. These all have the same meaning. Can you guess what it is? Thank you. It's because the Japanese was easy for me. And the German, maybe, as well. Well, Yordi was it. Bravo, that's correct. And speaking up is important in language learning, too. Gracias, merci, shi, shi. These words all mean thank you. Do I need to write all this shit down? Gracias, merci, shi, shi, danke, mean, thank you. I don't need to write down arigato, because I'm... Smarts, you know. Some of you probably knew at least one of those. Despite meaning the same thing, their lengths and sounds are all different. Isn't that interesting? 
And now, a propos of nothing, let me give you all one of my wise words of advice. When you travel abroad, abroad, you should try to speak the local language as much as you can, even if you can't speak it very well. I'm sure your willingness to try will make the people you meet très I don't know how to pronounce that. Very happy. Come on, game. Dutch, do it. No, we don't like Dutch. Honestly, from my experience, just being able to say hello, delicious, and thank you in the local language will get you pretty far. For everything else, just pretend you're Mr. Mime and gesture away. Shit, what was the second word that he said? Hello? Thank you and... Fuck it, I'll figure it out later. Delicious or something? I don't even know how to write delicious. I don't even know how to write delicious. Can you believe that? It will help, don't worry. Well, adios, matane! Matane, Timmy, come on, yo! Hon, 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 hon. A baguette du fromage. <laughs> Wrong, Kelly. <laughs> you guys are killing me. Baguette au fromage. I said what I said. My dear friends, how are you all today? Feeling absolutely fantastic, I hope. It's time for Salvatore's language lesson. It vos pre... Fuck you. Are you ready, everyone? You can answer with yes or we. Oui. Sure, let's say we. Oui. We, oui, we, oui, motherfucker! In our class, I believe I taught you all how to say thank you in other language, right? Yep. In Le Courge, motherfucking cocksucker, can you stop? Today's class, we will learn about a certain word sure to make people happy when you use it in your travels abroad. What words, you ask? Well, you'll have to guess. Uh, delicious? Can anyone tell me what that means? I think it's delicious, right? <laughs> Listen, I don't even know how to put these kind of dots on my words. On a regular keyboard. How am I supposed to be able to write that on my fucking, uh... Phone. No. Zilla, I didn't ask you to actually tell me how to do it. I wanted to be ignorant for the rest of my life, okay? <laughs> this is a local word for delicious at markets or restaurants. It's sure to get a big... Sorry, a smile. That is from whoever you're talking to. It will make communication go more smoothly, I guarantee it. People love it when someone says the cuisine of their homeland is delicious. Who wouldn't want be happy to receive such a compliment? And now, a propos of nothing. Let me give you all one of my wise words of advice. The first step to smooth communication is compliment the person you're talking to. Um... Uh. 
After all, it's not a very likely... It's not very likely that a compliment would put someone in a bad mood. It doesn't only apply to the people in other regions either, it's the same for all of you too. You can put this tip to use with your classmates. I'd be like, bro, what the fuck? Wouldn't mind Bitterball, they look good. Well, those are snacks and are good, yes. And then there's cheese, cheese is good. There's also hood spots. <laughs> Fikondel. Which I am a little bit less enthusiastic about. Stompot! My dear friends, how are you all today? You certainly look fantastic. It's time for another one of self Thor's language lessons. Are you ready? Brooch cooket kut. Those just mixed leftovers meat. Dot dot dot. Ahem. Eh, vos prêts? Are you ready? Uh, oui. Très bien. Very good. My lessons are not a one-way street. No, no. I am très tough. Fuck these words when no one speaks up. Very sad, that is. In our last class, I believe I taught you all how to say delicious in another language, right? In today's class, we will learn about a very special phrase that you can put to use when the time is just right. Ah, je te amour, ich liebe dich. I love... Am I really gonna need to write all these down? I shit I... Why can I not pronounce this? Why can I not pronounce the Japanese version? Je... Te me... Amor, ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich sounds like I love dick. <laughs> Sorry to all the German people! <laughs> and when you know what this phrase means, I love you. You deserve a um, all the medal. This guy is so annoying. Ik hou van jou. Je t'aime, te amom, ich liebe dich. These are three phrases you may know, I think. Why? Because they're all quite famous ways to say I love you. Oh my, have I embarrassed you all, my friends? What time is this little garcone shy boy is fucking hell? <laughs> Ik hou zeker niet van jou, Zalvator. <laughs> and girls, that is. It's very important to express your feelings about things to others, you know. This is especially true for positive emotions. If you get married someday and argue with your spouse over some silly little things, all you do is apologize and say I love you. And all will be well, that is. I should know why well, just last week I had a big argument with, with my dear wife, that is, but was quick to say I'm sorry and all was well. And now, word of advice. It's best to be quick to apologize when you have an argument with someone. Hilarious though. GG, you're him trying to say all this. Look at his teacher's stupid face. <laughs> True. That goes for your family's friends and your crushes. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Our pro chain course, our next class will be the midterms exam. Be sure to review what you learned in all our lessons so far. Adios, Matane. 
Teacher, I'm sorry that I think you're a dipshit. Can you please fucking jump off a cliff? Thank you. Also, be sure to leave your uh, uh, your Rotom phone behind because otherwise uh, you'll be saved and we don't like that. Vroeger had ik een and nu heb ik een homo. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, the two the two long words you put in there, Zilla, are like what? Nani? Questions? Yeah, I don't, I don't, it took me a bit, but I get it. Oh, you get it, Kelly. Can you explain? Because I'm not very smart. Today we take our midterms exams. Relax, that is, and do your best. Are you ready? Let's begin. Gracias, arigato, merci, and jishé all share the same meaning, aka, thank you. Which of the following means delicious? Delic shoes. Which of these phrases doesn't belong? Ich liebe je tomate a mon time to eat. The only English one doesn't fit. <laughs> when speaking with a person, what is the first step to smooth communication? Compliment them. What is your beloved teacher's name? Theodore! I, I like that they actually put in the trick Salvador because that's what I called it first. And see Salvador. <laughs> It's still skinny, almost as thick. Ah, I see. I hope that was easy enough for you, especially that dead in air question, the last question. I'm sure you all did great. Bravo, my friends. You can check your scores at school front desk. I do that one on purpose. Of course you would, Kelly. Of course you would. Okay, nice. Five out of five, definitely. His ego is way too high, true. We're doing art next. Art is my favorite topic. I would like to drop out of this teacher's class. <laughs> You'd like art with Mr. Hassel? Yes. Class will begin soon, don't be tardy. I would like to drop the teacher. <laughs> Wait, you, Kelly, you would like to drop kick the teacher? <laughs> out of the window? Greetings, I am Hassel. I will be teaching this art class. It is a pleasure to meet you all. Now, let me be candid for one moment. I imagine that many of you will forget all that you learn in this class once you graduate. After all, you don't need even a basic understanding of artwork, much less a refined appreciation of beauty for most exams or jobs. <laughs> so, is my class a waste of time for you then? I think not, at least I certainly hope it isn't. Think for a moment, all of you, what is beauty anyway? What makes something beautiful? The eye of the beholder. Interesting. Thank you, Yordi. I don't mean to suggest there's a correct answer to my query. The important thing is that you all take time to think about it. Think about why we might find beauty in a flower blooming on the side of the road, for example. Question why the sky is a different shade of blue than the ocean, or why the leaves change color. It's not a bun, yeah. And those two kids shaking their little leggies. Oh. Hit the girl. <laughs> I was an angry looking student. That was me. Ponder the windmills of Artazon and how they move. Contemplate the chilling bite of the water of Kasakarfa. I'm sure you will find that every little detail of your lives will seem more vivid, more impactful, if you just take a moment to stop and think. And I'm certain that if you stop and truly appreciate the little beauties of this world, it will help you pull through the days where your studies have you exhausted or when work has dampened your spirits. Ah, do pardon me, 
We're waxing philosoph philosophical. You don't need to understand all of that now. To put it simply, it is true that one doesn't need art to survive, but it certainly makes surviving much more enjoyable. One of the students have a goatee. Listen, uh, can you see the guy right to the left of my character, right? With my vibrant red hair? That is an old man of 60 years old. There are students that are like above 18. There are 30 years old. There are 40 years old. There are 70 year old students in this fucking... Uh, and. We have to play a character that is a 10-year-old while we are definitely getting flirted with by adults and older aged, like, yeah. Okay, great. It is my hope that this class will add even a little bit of color to your lives. That's all for today. Next time, I'll we'll try more hands-on approach to appreciate beauty. This is borderline something. <laughs> so weird. Definitely fan made. From oh, I want this game too. I will be cured out by this game. Hey, but at least the gameplay is fun, guys. Come on. <laughs> worse than creating a female V in CP2077. Hello class, it is I Hassle yet again. In previous class we discussed what beauty is, which might have been a little boring for you. So today I thought I would mix things up a little to pique your interest in art. Allow me to introduce our special guest. Gibble! At least in that game you are old enough. His drawings are 10 out of 10. Gibble Gib, this is Professor Gibble, assistant lecturer for today. Now, Professor Gibble, if you would be so kind as to terrestrialize for us. Glam! Pokemon cannot be a professor. Yes, they can. As some of you may already know, Pokemon can terrestrialize if you use a Terror Orb. Normally, Professor Gibble would be the dragon type, but by terrestrializing, it succeeded in changing its type. So, class, what type do these lovely glinstering flowers above Gibble's head represent? Grass type. Nah! <laughs> Full marks! These beautiful flowers blooming in bluff. Professor Gibble's hat show that it's now become a grass type. The shape of the Terra Jewel above the Pokemon's hat depend on the Pokemon's Terra type. Uh, shape above Poke head depends on Terra type. To summarize, if an opponent's Pokemon terrestrialize during battle, observe a Pokemon's Terra Jewel closely to see which type it becomes. Use effective moves accordingly. It is my sincere hope that today's lecture will help you all achieve beautiful victories. Is he going to mark? I don't want to see a f half mark. No, I agree with that one, Kelly. I would not let someone like Selva douche anywhere near school. <laughs> but this guy, Hassel, has a fucking death stare. <laughs> and he's bringing out Killing Machine! It's not a killing machine, it's a very nice gibble. What the fuck are you talking about, Ziller? Into Gabite? 
Okay, that's still a very cute little guy. And then into a Garchomp, which is also a very cute fucking guy. Okay. <laughs> fucking shark that can walk on land. Hello class, it is I Hassle yet again. I have told that my previous lecture about the terrestrial phenomenon was very well received. Thank you all for your kind words. In fact, Miss Dendra specifically requested that I impart even more battle knowledge to my students. So I've decided that today we will take another look at how Pokémon can terrestrialize. Chomp in my Arceus game bugged and was just running in circles, no problem. <laughs> Gibble Gib, and of course here's Professor Gibble to help us! Now, Professor Gibble, if you would be so kind as to terrestrialize first. Okay, Zillar, let me ask you this. If Gardevoir was a professor, would you be happy? <laughs> Glam. Now, what do we have here? Last class we saw grass terrestrialization, but this time we have something in a different shape. Serve the Terra Jewel assembling snowflake. Its dendritic shape is stunning to behold. It's a little chilly standing so close to it. So class, what terror type do you imagine this jewel might represent? Water! No, ice. Excellent, Jordy. Full mark marks for you. Fire! The reason there's snowflake shining above Gibble's head is simple. It is now nice type. And because Professor Gibble is currently the ice type, ice type moves would not be very effective against it. Keep in mind, usually they would deal quadruple damage to Gibble. Now, here's some trivia about snowflakes. With, while snowflakes come in many different shapes and sizes, most are qualified as hexagons. Uh, hexagons, okay. Just think of it. Snowflakes fall from the sky, taking a similar shape without anyone saying they must. Do you not feel the great mysteries of nature, the beautiful enigma we live in? Hassle. Okay, uh, this is actually something uh, that I need to understand. So, my original understanding of terrestrialization, I thought that you would get a third type. Uh, <laughs> I thought you would get a third type or a second type if you were a, a monotype Pokemon, right? But apparently it just takes over your typing completely. Uh, Terrastalize changes type completely. Uh, cause... <clears throat> At least that's what I think it is, cause even if, like, if Gibble would be quadruple weak against Ace, suddenly get the Ice type, it would not suddenly become it would not suddenly become not super effective, not very effective, it would be regular effective, if my Pokémon knowledge is correctly... Uh, correct. At least. Which would make sense why certain, like, uh, when I did certain attacks on the other Terra Pokémon, that they wouldn't, like, react to their own weaknesses. But maybe that's... maybe I'm still not understanding it correctly. Uh, at this bit of tandment, but Mr. Jacques' glasses are also hexagonal, aren't they? I almost forgot to mention that you can change a Pokémon's Terra type at the Treasure Eatery. Oh, really? Located at a Medali. Wait, that, I need to write that down, actually. Change Terra type at... Eatery... blah blah. Medali. Though I must say the cook there is a little prickly. You'll need to get on her good side if you want her help.
The game is still like only two days old. I have not seen much videos on the actual stuff. How's this art class? Yeah, good question. At least the language class was actually about language instead of Pokemon. But this was this just ended up being about Pokemon <laughs> and battles. Everything else was also just about Pokemon. You hope you're all ready because it is time for your midterms exams. Focus and do your best. Just tear a Pokemon and begin. What is the name of the gemstone that glows over a Pokemon's head when tur- Terra Jewel, I guess. Uh, when the answer to question one is the shape of flower, grass. Hexagon. Medallion. What makes something beautiful? There is no correct answer. Um. Anyways, good work everyone, you can check the results at the front desk. Okay. <clears throat> yeah! Okay. The last, the last class, Home Ec. You'd like home act with Mr. Saguero? So Sagua Saguaro, whatever. Last class, and I go to sleep. Yeah, I'm finishing this class, and then I'm saving and uh, heading to bed as well. Whoa, look at this guy, yo! I see we have some energetic young ones in our class this time around. You may call me Mr. Saguero. Your time here with me will be spent obtaining knowledge and skills indispensable for daily life. Many of you have left the care of your parents to live here on your own in the academic dormitory. I pray that the knowledge I impart to you will improve the quality of your lives and the necessities therefore food, clothing and shelter. Markiplier? <laughs> Of those three categories, I assume the most pressing and interesting for you all is food. When you eat sandwiches on your picnics, the HP of your Pokémon will be restored. You will also obtain... Okay, I need to write this down. Picnic... HP... Restore... And... Not Ho Restore... H-O... Restore and... Meal... Hours... Which can refine many benefits. For example, these powers can make Pokémon easier to catch or increase the XP that your Pokémon receive. Examples is XP increase or catch rate up. I think you will also find that the bread. The breadth of these effects can be expanded by crafting sandwiches of supplier favor. Okay. Effects increase by crafting superb flavor sandwich. What's more, there is a certain something that is particularly important if we wish to receive meal powers with even more helpful effects. Oh, really? Let's... let me see, Master Yordi. Tell me, what must you keep in mind to receive even more helpful meal powers? 
My choice of fillings and condiments. How fast I can prepare the food. I have to put my heart in it! That's an interesting take, though not exactly what I was looking for. I suppose you are correct in a sense. The choice of ingredients. For example, using sweet ingredients in your sandwich may help you gain egg power. Including numerous bitter ingredients, on the other hand, can give you item drop power. Sweet for egg, pea, and bitter for item drop pea. Learning to aim for specific effects when crafting sandwiches will almost certainly make your culinary endeavors more enjoyable. Please be aware, however, that you can also receive meal powers by eating at restaurants. Our time together has come to an end for today. I bid you all farewell. So close to falling asleep already, oops. <laughs> Kelly, go to bed, go to sleep if you want to. Put away your phones, it's time to begin class. It's in our last class, I believe we talked about the effect you can get from food and your picnics. You can receive meal powers and even restore HP for all the Pokemon in your party. It's truly convenient means of healing your Pokemon. Fortunately, as I'm sure you are aware, it is not suited for use in battles when you cannot make food or when you wish to restore HP quickly. In times as such, you should make use of healing items such as potions. Battle potions. Which can be purchased from Pokemarks or the school store. Healing items are immediately effective and can be used any time that you open your bag. They are, however, consumed after one use. Potions restore 20, Super Potions 60, Hyper Potions 120. The price of your diet, the more HP it will restore. Keep in mind how much money you have when you are stocking up on these items. However, unforeseen happenings are an inextricable part of traveling from far to from place to place. Imagine, if you will, the following scenario. You find yourself with injured Pokémon, but you have no potions. You are out of sandwich ingredients, and there are no Pokémon centers nearby. Tell me, Master Yordi, what should you search for when in a polarious situation with no healing and no way to heal your Pokémon? Places with water, items on the ground. Okay. Ground when all out of healing options. If you see something shiny on the ground, it is actually an item that has been dropped there. On ground are dropped items. I knew this. I want to camp with them. <laughs> you may be able to find restorative items such as an Orm Barrier or Potion in this way. You can use the R button to send out your Pokémon to pick at such items as well. R button to send Pokemon to pick up shit. Aren't like items from shops. If you let your Pokemon hold one, it will decide on its own when to eat the berry during battle. We already knew this. Should probably write it down anyways. Kelly, sleep well. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. And, uh, otherwise, until the next time, it was good times. Good night. Um.
Pokemon will eat on its own at the right timing. At any rate, if you find yourself in need of healing, I suggest you look around for shining items on the ground. If you can find such items, there are other methods you may employ for healing your... Ah, but I see the bell demands that topic to wait. <laughs> One more class, then we can do the last test, the last midterms. I know most of these answers are not really important for me to write down, but just in case, I'd better write them down in case for some f whatever fucking reason my brain decides to be like, nope. Put away your phones, it's time to begin class. In my last class I thought about HP restoration, however, after class I was asked by several of you about power points, commonly known as PP. My PP, yo! When Pokemon lose all of his HP, it faints and can no longer battle. What then happens to Pokemon when it loses all of its PP? Can't use moves. Perhaps you know this from first-hand experience. Yes, sure. When a Pokemon runs out of PP, it can no longer use... ...its moves. However, each move has its own store of PP, so you can mitigate PP loss by using a variety of moves rather than just one move repeatedly. If Pokemon lose all, uh, all PP for all of its moves, it will only be able to use Struggle. I'm writing way too much. I, I know this. Can be healed at uh, Pokemon Center. Healed at PC and with Ethers. However, Ethers are not sold at shop, so you should use them educationally if you find them. The stronger the move, the lower its maximum PP. Do not waste uses. These moves unless you wish to quickly run out of PP. Important to find balance in Pokemon moveset. As you can see, HP isn't the only thing you must keep an eye on when adventuring with Pokemon. I hope that you all will take care to ensure that your partner Pokemon can perform at their best as you each engage in a treasure hunt. Okay, examination. Let's fucking go. I wanted to do this way earlier today, technically, but I keep forgetting about it. I kept forgetting about it, I should say. Okay, midterms. Ugh! Class will begin soon, don't be tardy! The time has come to test how well you have learned here in my class. Let's begin before the information shimmering in your brains from last minute cram session fades. Smart. Which is not effect is not an effect for a picnic meal. Increasing speed. Which of the following affects the kind of meal power received by a particular meal? Uh, fillings and condi condiments. Which of these berries can restore HP? Hornberry. Leandro wanted his Pokémon to decide on its own when to use its item in battle, so... He gave an Hornberry. This will work as he hopes. True. If a move runs out of PP, it can no longer be used. If a Pokémon runs out of PP for all its moves, it can only sit there and frustrate <laughs> False. The time for answering questions has come to an end. Please stop writing. I hope you are all able to give the examination everything you had. Please remember to ask for your scores at the front desk before leaving today.
Oh, damn, man. Didn't get a 5 out of 5 again because he fucked up somewhere. No need. That's passing score, congratulations. Why the fuck are you here? Oy, 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 oy. Ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies. That is it for tonight. It's been another long one. It's almost 10 hours. Jesus Christ. This game is too fun. It's because there's so much to do. And Jordi just keeps on running and running and running circles. Uh, so yeah, we got uh, four Titan badges, two Star badges, and four Gym badges. We're making excellent progress. I mean, there's quite a lot of Pokemon in the meantime as well. Not very happy about that. Uh, tomorrow Sunday I'll be back with more Pokemon. I uh, don't know what time exactly. It depends on how well everything goes and how uh, I sleep and wake up. Lizzie just pops in and is uh, right when I'm leaving, but uh, sure. So uh, yeah, ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. Hope you enjoyed. I'm having a lot of fun with the game. Until next time, sweet dreams, adios, and good night. <laughs>